You guys ever see each other naked on C9? Mm. <laughs> like no, we always had the lights out. <laughs> 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 I see. Seeing it would make it gay. Jensen saw my ass once. Yeah, I'm trying to remember. I feel like I've seen a lot of stories. Uh, or I've heard a lot of stories of like people walking in on unfortunate moments on each other because it's just what happens when guys live together. Yeah, it's just a natural guy occurrence. Oh, seeing each other's wait. dicks all the time. <laughs> hmm. Well, no, yeah, no. I mean, seeing oh, sucking each other's dicks, I feel like that's a normal part of being on yeah, a team. Just well, bros. of course that, but no, there, there was that one story, remember in Korea, Sneaky? Which one? What? What I was saying with high and lemon. Oh, I I don't actually remember it. I remember something though. Oh, I mean it wasn't anything like super crazy, but it was just like literally that. It was like fucking, cause, uh, we were all in the fucking. Remember that horrible bunk bed room? Yeah. And then high had like his own room, yeah. and it had the drying rack on it. And so lemon like went into the room to like grab his clothes off the drying rack, and lemon like didn't have his glasses on, and high was like beating it or something. <laughs> when he walked in. <laughs> And then Lemon, like, didn't know because he couldn't see shit. He's just, like, getting clothes. And Hyde's just like, Lemon, what the fuck? <laughs> Videos were literally about to play the fucking tournament with Hyde. What the fuck? <laughs> what? He's told this story before. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. It's you funny know, as the, fuck. The hardest part about living in a gaming house is finding a way to beat off without your teammates knowing that you're beating <laughs> that's, I know, that's, dude. That's I would generally do it, like... I would try, I try to, to do it during it champ select like during... when no one's paying attention. <laughs> Say that. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that, dude. They have this super scaling Seraphine, but Seraphine like needs to pair with something else super scaling. Otherwise, she obviously doesn't scale. So, uh, yeah, this is well, really weird. So, I think what they're probably looking for here with Vic is in a really, really early soul, because they actually have a nasty comp for early soul. Plus, like, t look at Liquid's comp; they're so scaling. Like, they showed Victor and Scion. Who's yeah. like, you know, non lane dominant champs. So if C9 just has like three winning lanes and they just stack dragon from five minutes, I think that's probably what they're going to look for. Because their comp think, is insane for that. I think they could totally get the first few, but there will come a point where C9's comp runs out of damage unless they're pretty ahead. Like, I, I don't think of Seraphine as high damage, obviously. No one does. Um, and then Callista has to bust through three tanks before she can even touch Victor, think about touching Victor. So as far as like HP bar is moving at like 15 to 20 minutes, I don't think C9 should be able to win unless they're really ahead. I feel like Teal's comp, their HP bar is just, they're not going to go down. And I, uh, I, if you don't I touch... I don't think they'll have enough time personally. I, I like, I would rather be C9 here. Let's see. Because the, the, the problem I see with Liquid's comp is like, at what point do you ever get breathing room when you're up against something that just like like they don't have any pushing lanes like they have no prio in this game i never know who wins but then just looking at that interaction where like hecker walks up he gets stunned and then he gets autoed by phoenix and then he runs away it's like blabber took zero damage so i feel like oh yeah i mean i, I would rather oh. be Udyr in this matchup for sure that was such an well, was early flash. Panic, right? Yeah, I don't. I don't think it was necessarily bad, but it was really early for sure. Look at look at where they're pinging. They saw Armeo at one HP on Krugs, and mm -hmm. now they're pinging the enemy Raptors. Like he's not going for his second full clear on his side of the jungle. He's like using his advantage to take enemy camps here. Yeah, this is interesting. I don't. And oh my God, they have full vision. Oh. This is so good. If if Fudge can bait this, that's a double kill. Blabber knows this is worded. You see him. What is going on? Oh, this is wait, so shit. bad. What is Armeo oh, doing, man? Oh, shit. This is a he... double kill. This is a double kill. What the fuck was that? Oh, my God. They saw him the whole they time. Saw him. They saw him. They saw the whole time. Oh, my God. He's on a war. <laughs> that was there's... really bizarre. There's no universe where that was going to work. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Fudge literally solo killed Hecarim. There was no assist. He just solo killed him anyways. So that was like triple bad. Yep, he flashed over Sion Q. Oh, is that what happened? Yeah, you can oh, see yeah, right you're here. Right. Oh, wow. Yeah. I mean, doesn't Fudge just get this solo kill and get out if Blabber's not here anyways? Uh, right? I don't think he can go I, for it. 
You don't think you go for it because it's like too risky. Yeah. It's like a lot of confidence from Blabber just being on the flank. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I also think TL can play it different if Blabber's not there. Like, they can just play to fight him more rather yeah. than. Yeah, that makes sense. Rather than focusing on, like, clearing wave with your abilities, you can yeah. hold your abilities. Mm. Early dragon. Yeah, it's good. So far, it's almost all jungle diff. He blew. Well, I mean, it was a panic by Alfari, right? But he blew Alfari's flash. Then he invaded, which which cornered Armeo to feel like, okay, well, if he's going to take my race, I'm going to go for this gank. Mm -hmm. Obviously, a lot of this stuff is like... Mm, I, don't, I don't think don't he have needed to, make to go mistakes. for that gank. I don't know why yeah. he went for that. I think it was probably the issue of, like, maybe his top laner were saying, like, okay, my wave's pushing out and I'm fucked if you don't come. Yeah, it wasn't really a gank. Yeah. More of that, for sure. More of a, oh, I see. Oh, shit. Is it a dive? They are not going to be six. It is, it is. It's it's definitely oh. going for it. It's 100% a kill on it. Oh. Oh. That's a good time flash from Tactical. Wait, Wait why is kill Tactical Tactical's in again? What? Why did he go back in? That, that was really strange. I'm pretty sure you just give huh. up core there. Yeah, of course. You just give up your support. Like, your support dies for your sins, right? But he, he he's going to execute. Or not execute. He's going to die to turret. Giving it to Alistair's Oh, good. and it was heal... It was a heal by Sven to to get the assist, right? So it happened. Wait, what? Uh, it couldn't have been, right? What? Did it, I... it was a uh, Seraphine, has. Oh, Seraphine yeah. used heal. I see. That was really weird of tactical to warn back in like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Weird is definitely one way to put it. Um, <laughs> usually in those situations, like you give up your support, and there's like two, there's like a decision tree of like if my soul lanes TP, I can potentially go back on the turret, right? Because. We can we can clean up with like one extra member, but if no one is coming, then you, you never go back on the turret. Yeah, it's four v two, man. They're, if they're human beings, you're gonna die. It's impressive how Blabber stays up and farms so much. Like it feels like he's everywhere doing everything. Then he's just like almost the same farm as his soul laners. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 actually dirty up on that, Hecarim. Like when what? I play jungle, I it's one or the other. I'm either farming well. Or I'm hopelessly useless down in farm, but I've been ganking a shit ton. It feels like yeah. Blabber ganks top twice, does dragon, goes for a bot dive that is like super extended, kills everybody, and is somehow still 30 CS ahead. Yeah, I dude, I, I, it's yeah. I mean that I think really wild. I, that one's crazy. You must just think about the game differently. It's just it's just honestly the way his lane is set up for his perfect path. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't waste any time. Yeah, exactly. It's about the time wasting. Like he can go straight from the camps to whatever he wants to do. Like he's not That's he's true. not really sitting around like waiting for the perfect moment. He's just he's like at the perfect moment when he arrives. Yeah, yep. that's true. Yep. That, that's very right. Like the, the perfect moment is like set up while he's doing his camps. He just has to come and like finish the job. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh -huh. I mean that's a big part of it too. Big Chad Daddy Blaber Booty Blast. So crazy. The first boy arm out. eight minutes of the game, Blaber did four things, or like set up four kills, I guess. And then. That's <laughs> just. Just over. Yeah. <laughs> over. Yeah, we're gonna need Teal to actually try something soon. 30 seconds on drag. Yeah. Harold. What can they do, though? I mean, they're just gonna have to fight. Like, no, they're gonna you know, have to fight, that's all. Just sack your lanes, I run to drag. I would have probably win Kraken Slayer this game if I was if I was tactical. Uh, it's triple tanks and they have Seraphine shields. I I understand Gale Force obviously against Ali. It just I don't know. Oh my god! I think they're not gonna have any damage now. Ghost Close exhaust. Yeah, like, so TL's doing what you were saying, like sacking waves to get the early setup. <laughs> and C9 yeah, and just and runs just right through it. Anyways. My god, he Fucking dies slams him. Holy fuck. Look at Blabber. C9 wasted no time. Uh, I mean, Tactical wasn't even yeah. there, though. I don't know. Yeah. Tactical greeted for that extra wave while Zven was already on the map. Yeah, like, that's... they need everyone to sack and then they just fight. Because otherwise, it just looks yeah. like this. Early setup looks so troll when, yeah. when no one's there. Uh, it, it's tough, though, because, like, if you do commit entirely to sit in the river like give all your waves for the dragon c9 can easily just be like okay like you just lost a shit ton of waves we're just gonna get a big xp lead on you and give one dragon yeah i'm done but counting. it's not necessarily like you're it helped you yeah you know? yeah i just figured like they're just slow bleeding like they have to choose their fight Mm-hmm. yeah big time it 
That's why being in a losing position, you know, it's always one of those lose loses. It's like when the enemy team is on soul point, you have so much more options. But it's so funny uh, that Alfari <laughs> just TPs right in front of Fudge's face and gets canceled. What the fuck? Yeah. Walks up yeah, W. I, this patch is being played in fucking prehistoric times. <laughs> it is so weird. LEC finals ended same day, but this fucking NA is just whole patch behind. It's so bad, yeah. dude. They should have just switched the patch mid playoffs, whatever, dude. Who cares? Yeah, I think they need to define what like a game meta meta changing patch is. Uh, through I don't know. Oh, oh. I didn't. Oh, Q flash. Oh, he's fine though. Kalista's gonna ultimate in a sec. Wow, Armeo. And there's a lot of their tools. Ar Armeo literally did a one inch ult away. But it was, it's like, I don't know. I don't, yeah, I don't really know who he was how, going that for. That was so weird. He, he didn't, he wasn't going to die. And he also didn't fear anybody. So now Holy he, now shit, he, Blabber? Oh, oh, Blabber went fucking oh. eight. Oh, that was, oh, this is actually really dead, good for, yeah. This could be really good for TL. This is, this First is definitely flash. what TL needed. Just to... fucking extra spicy sacking throw. Vulcan. Just run. They're sacking him. So run. Wait, Vulcan kind of got out. Damn. Now they can start. I, 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 th I think he's, I would totally do he this. sacked himself for perks. I think. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yo, yo, yo! They're, they're gonna have to give this. They're gonna have to give this. What a humongous throw! Holy fuck! Really? Humongous. I would hero play it if I was C9. I, I don't think it's kind of awkward. It's like it's all impossible. in fudge, I think. Yeah, I mean it's you have. Oh shit! Wait, Twins. Twins, Twins fucking the ass. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe it was a bait. There it is. Okay. Renekton. Renekton. Q Q Q Q. Oh, he's it's not appealing. Murdered. Oh god. Wait, he's alive! Oh, oh my god, Fudge actually lives and stops them. Oh, nice. Wow, that was a miracle, man. Holy shit. Sven literally got hit by every fucking victory ability for like 10 seconds in a row, and then his shield low proc, <laughs> and he got a million heals. Dude, dude he, he like was in Victor's face, Victor W behind him, and he had to walk through the W to get out. <laughs> so he got stunned. <laughs> oh, wow. Could Vulcan not follow up here? I don't know. This, this got really awkward. I don't think Vulcan did anything wrong. He he basically sacked his life there to save his. No 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 not not at the end. I meant like when Blabber flashed in. Mm. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm not sure. Um, so they're they're really good at that for sure. They have a lot of yeah. oh. big brains. I wonder if they're fight, gonna, gonna play this one like apes. Dragon has a way of. Yeah. Oh yep. C9 Here's the is hit. not the team to do that. I think I think TL is more the team to play really poorly around drag than C9. Oh shit. Yeah. I guess they're just gonna close the smite fighter. Oh my god, Fudge, Fudge is, is not in a good spot. Instantly. Oh god. Yo, I, think... uh, I don't like the way C9 is playing this. They're kind of giving TL what they need. Yeah. Now it's just a fucking. Oh. They're just gonna smite off. fucking yolo it. I guess. It's a flip. I think Fudge should jump on our Mayo. Combo Ooh. on. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh god, wait, wait. oh wow, my god. Really that is a massive guy. wombo. Tactical's pretty much Tactical's dead. Alive. Oh shit. Tactical's wait, alive. he lives. Oh my god. Damn it. Oh my god, C9. They actually threw. And yeah. it's a blower. Hmm. I guess they felt that they couldn't push into TL to like zone them back, but I don't know. It, it, it is a weird angle. It's just the classic play Callista against fucking Rel and enjoy your life. It's, Wait, they're going Baron. It's, it's oh shit. Yeah, I think I think Baron's gone. It's 3v5 and no one no one has enough damage to pull him off, right? Like the damage dealer is Seraphine here. Yeah, that's true. Wow. It's, yeah. Looks I, like I it's theirs. This. Holy shit. This, is, this, this game is so in TL's hands now. Yep. It's, it's gone on too long and... Yeah, the scaling even up the gold. Of C9 is kind of weird with Kalista specifically. Yeah, I think. Although Seraphine is pretty crazy, I don't know. She could carry it. Maybe. Started off so poorly. I think comboing Ally, or they're comboing Scion. Oh, dies instantly. Yeah, yeah. Def definitely a weird start. Like here, he's saying about just the dragon in general, because. Pretty much they're just opting into a smite fight and a shitty team fight. <laughs> yeah, yeah they, they, you don't want to front it back against Liquid's comp. They're built for that. And Liquid's comp yeah. actually has like so much fucking team fight. They're just pure tankiness and CC. 
and AoE. Yeah. It's pretty much what you want in a team fight. Pure tankiness <laughs> AoE. <laughs> no, I mean, like, all, all of their champs have all that shit. Yeah, right? yeah. Like, nobody on their team's easy to die. All yeah. of them have, like, massive amounts of CC they can throw down. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think TL has, pretty like, much all of its AoE. one of the best team fighting comps. And and yesterday they were playing a two-threat comp with uh, tank jungle top. Uh, but their AD carry was Varus, who is just going to die the second anyone looks at him. And yeah. in this game, it's Gale Force Kaiser, uh, Gale Force Zaya, it's so different. Be pumping big damage and yeah, never I die. mean, you saw it there in that fight specifically. Like, he was actually just dead, and then he ults in Gale Forces and barely he lives. Gale Force, yep. It was good. In that fight, Gale Force was really big. If he was Varus, he just I, I, drops. I don't think C9 can win anymore unless they get some miracle happening, but... The problem when the momentum like swings the other way is, I don't know. I a, a lot of your kill potential is just gone now. I think it's like, winnable. I like Seraphine's really strong with her ult, but I, I yeah, think it is in Gale's favor. Totally lost. Lost. They need Jensen to be a homie. I think Jensen is like <laughs> the most vulnerable member as far as dying. Yeah. Yeah. Like he, if you find a pick on Jensen, you can win for sure. He just gets flash, Renekton, Strike Breaker W, Seraphine, fucking combo from a thousand yards away. Mm -hmm. Randomly dies like oh shit. Yeah, we win a team fight. I mean, C9 has that comp that uh, who was it yesterday? It was TSM or TL, but they, like there's so many threats for the carries like Renekton, Udir, pretty much anybody on C9 can catch out Victor and one shot him. Hmm. This next drag, what should they do here? Yep. Looks like they're not postured at all. They're gonna give, and if you're gonna give, I would have really liked to see them send someone top already. So like have like Zven just run top like. Probably ten seconds ago, or okay, never mind. They're they're gonna contest the drag, I guess. Yeah, it looks like a ball. It's just a ball versus ball. Uh, they they don't want the game to go any later. Ledge is bot lane right now. Armeo is on the flank. I think oh, it's good. Oh. I think Zven is fucked here. Oh, never mind. Good flash by him. Oh, big Seraphine. Ooh, tactical ult damage. Oh, they flashed on tactical. Another flash. Tactical's, they can't reach. Alive. Yeah, they can't oh, reach. Oh, that's a really him. good Hecarim ult to peel. Fiber is yeah, it's dead. Armeo is actually playing Hecarim well. He's playing, yeah. A lot of people will play him peel like Hecarim. fucking troll. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, shit. I, how can they kill Victor, though? They can't oh, kill Victor. I don't oh. think they can. Oh, is that game? Oh, it should be Echo game. died. Yeah, I think that's game. They can end yeah, here. Yeah, it should be. Let's fudge to some bullshit. Do they have damage? Maybe. I don't I don't know. Yeah. They're kinda stalling. They're not gonna end. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're just gonna get it, they, I, I don't think they would have been able to end. No, I, I think actually yeah. looking at it again. I don't I don't think Renekton would necessarily be able to defend, but just the, the how much they push is pretty slow. Yeah. yeah. They they wouldn't get the Nexus down, like Udyr and Ali would be up by the time they're like. If you're not gonna, if you're turret. not gonna get like Nexus turrets, I think it's always better to reset and get the first move because like after this replay is yeah. over, you're gonna see like TL's already out on the map and TL's already pressuring C9 to sit in their base again as opposed to like recalling and giving TL a turn. Mm -hmm. Damn, Armeo actually played this fight unbelievably well. Yeah, the ult back in the tactical. He got Sven to flash. He zoned perks out, and yeah, then he ulted. Was great. Both people to peel for tactical. And, and that's why it's so hard. It's like you you beeline for anybody, and everyone else is just going to peel that person. So I think beelining for tactical was like tactical died so troll at the end. He just he just like walks up and dies to Seraphine. He could totally have just ran away. I was trying to see how he died. It's it's hard to see. It was like Seraphine just wanted Q. to get the kill on Seraphine at the very end, and he just dies for for, for fun. Mm. Jesus. Hard searching. Yeah, I, I think Victor's definitely strong. Hmm. This fight, Zven has no flash, and I, I just feel looks free. Feel suck for him, man. Baron. Yeah. Ooh. This is probably one of the only ways that C9 Whoa, can win is wait. if the enemy team starts off by tanking Baron. Oh, I like what Fudge this is, is doing. This is weird. Just... C9 is getting different angles, which is good. Perfect. Keep them they need to play the Baron. fight like this. I don't like this Baron. from Teal at all. Yeah. So yeah, I, I don't really understand why they're. I think they're trying to like zone oh, the flankers. is gonna have to ulti instantly. I think they're good okay. Good position for C9. Yeah. Good position for Fudge C9. Fudge is a good flank. Ooh. Wait. Tactical? Jensen? Oh, that's three dead instantly. Wait. That was a fucking nasty team fight for C9. Yep. I think you have to get more. You have to get more. Like, run it down mid with this wave and top as well. Both, both, both. Get Baron at the end. I think get Baron the last possible second here. 
Like you, go somebody go top. Okay, whatever. Uh, Fuck it. I don't know. Go top. I I, they... I don't think mid and hip is enough. Like it looks like they're trying to end. Yeah, they're going nexus. Is it an end angle? 18. I seconds? don't think it's an end angle, but it looks like they it, they're. It might be. Considering it. I don't know. So it's only tactical up in 12. Mm, yeah, they're going for Armeo it. Armeo might make a mistake here. Armeo's in, killing himself. I mean, he's Why grabbing the wave. It's actually decent. Just kill him, dude. Yes, just kill him. They should kill him in Baron. Okay, yeah, now, okay. now you can go back for Baron. Yes, good. Th that's, that's what it means to get more off of a couple kills. Just keep making them change. I think in this case, Man, Vulcan needs to get some mana. Like, Vulcan needs to eat some fruit or something, or else he has no mana for combo. But, um... I think TL might fight this, honestly, even without their jungler. Yeah. They're postured for it. They yeah, have the enemy team does it so slowly. Pretty much he, everything. It's gonna be really hard to get a good fight angle for TL, though, because Renekton's on this flank. I think they can win. I think they can totally win this. Vulcan is dead instantly. Oh, Vulcan got instantly Oh, shit. Oh, Zen shit. Dead oh, shit. Oh, shit. It's another throw. Fight's over. Fight's <laughs> over. Oh. They, they can get Baron now. Jesus. Hmm. Fudge, my fudge might die. He's got an e. e. Okay. They should get Baron. Yeah, now TL's going to get Baron. And now TL's going to get Baron. So C9 pushing mid actually kind of griefed themselves, so they just didn't get Baron. I don't really know what the best play there was, honestly. Like, you just go straight Baron, I guess? I mean, my, my initial instinct you was just Baron there. You should have killed instantly. Like, I think, I think going down mid and, like, I mean, baiting... They're looking for the end, though. Good. I don't, yeah, yeah, I mean, they, they were definitely the threatening the end. I, I didn't think they could end, impossible. but... I, I don't think if so. If TL fucked up, they could. Yeah, it, it looked yeah. pretty close, but I, I think Armau, like... Doing that on the wave made it not possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he defended well, but but him him dying is like their best chance because they get this four v five. They just played really poorly afterwards. That's that's their really best it. chance for what? Ending or Baron? Uh, to to get more like to to kill him to make the enemy team run at you and Baron. And it's five v four situation. You get a good fight in again. Like I think having four people on the Baron was a pretty big mistake. Like oh, instead they, of fudge, they, they, they need to know that they can't do Baron and instead like. They get a 5v4 fight again. They're using Baron as a way to like pull them in. Oh shit. We get a soul fight here. Yeah, soul fight. Uh, C9 can't Ooh, do Fudge it, has man. a pretty good angle. Oh, oh he's, he's actually pushed out of there. Oh, it's just, it's just their, their oh. duck. I think C9's gonna get it. Oh my oh, god! Oh my god. Grig never misses a fucking smite, He dude. don't miss. Not on drag, dude. Wait, this is so bad. This is GG. Yeah. Dude, Sven. Oh my god, it's over, it's over. It's GG. Sven, let him die without ulting. They, oh, they, they no. just kite. I think they just go base. Yeah. It didn't matter at all if they got the soul, though. Like, it's cool that Armeo got the steal, but it didn't matter. They're going to lose the fight after. How does he anyway. just keep running up and grabbing it? I don't know. They had Callista Rend as well. They're not talking about Rend smiling. I mean, Rend time. is absolutely terrible now. I mean, I'm sure you know it's it. Still, it's still 1k. No, it's it's not even 1k. You, you'd have, really? yeah, if, if Callista was solo hitting it, then it's 1k. Like, if she got it to low. But that's, like, impossible. I see. Ooh, the cyan ult on the is, turrets. That's, that's I like kind it. Of a troll ult. Yeah, I think they might be able oh. to defend now. Yeah, that might have actually been troll, but it did hurt the turrets. <laughs> it did hurt the turrets. You're not the boss. Oh, shit. Oh, oh shit. Oh. They can fight. Oh. That is 1 HP. Okay. Uh oh, that's two kills. Oh god! Oh Wait, Sven my! Sven died to the fucking ult. Did he just stand in it? Yeah, he just stopped moving. Taking a little bath. <laughs> oh shit! Hey, Jensen's fine. Yeah. Like, she has ninety percent efficiency, but but still, the crit is just so good that like even if that's ninety percent, it's better than the other thing. And look at how fast Blabber dies oh. to, to, to my. He's got shredded. That's five auto Ooh, attacks. Alfari grief. I, I think mm. what did Alfari do? Oh, he, ulted. he ulted into the Yo, turret. Guys, give, give the, the dead soul turret. And go do something else. Victor's soloing Dragon right now. Gotta do something else. Yeah, this is good from TL. I don't know. Uh, th this TL oh, is not die. I... Ooh. Oh, they, they got oh, some tactical. Oh, shit. Wait, Jensen's off drag. Gang, bang, gang, bang, gang. Oh, my bang. God. C9 loses so hard. Wait, are Mal? No, C9 loses so hard. Uh, yeah, dude. I don't think C9 can win this. Wait, what? They, I mean, they use a lot of shit randomly. Wait, what? What? You didn't see that? Go back. Can run to Baron, 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 Baron. Yeah, just trade I mean, soul for Baron. So trade soul for Baron. Tactical was so far out of the fight, he wasn't at all hitting. I don't think he autoed like once until the very end. And then wow. he used all of his shit just to get out. 
and armor out full ulted backwards like just to disengage yeah. why, why did they yeah i was i was about to say like they, they win that fight so fucking hard if they, they just commit to, to the fight and this seems and they so run bad. into victor though i feel like victor would penta them now they would shine no, I'm talking about TL. Like, I think Armal needs to ult in and, oh, you're, and just yeah, commit to the okay. fight. Like, Victor is just blowing everyone up. Any CC means, like, fucking 900 AP wipes. Victor, dude. He just... Sell Magi, buy Magi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I really like that C9 looked for something on the mid wave because yeah, they're thinking that, that maybe was they're solo. Cool. That was, like, a great prediction to think that, like, okay, we can go in because they're probably going to have one on the drag right now. I, I really like that. And, yeah, wow, the, the fight... I don't know. It's it's good for C9. He got Baron at least, and, and now like in, in positions like this, it, it's like so funny because like uh, all that matters is whoever wins the next fight, the the elder fight. Yeah, it's great that they got Baron. There could uh, be one before that. Fight. We'll see. Is this five could be minutes? One, yeah. Could be over, but let's see. Flashes down. Tactical core fudge Vulcan. So like sneaky like I think like looking at closest items right now, I I honestly think that going IE has to be the highest damage that you can possibly have. Like I, like I last haven't item. done the fucking like the the math on it, but you're at eighty percent crit. You have like three hundred eighty. IE has to be the best. Yeah, I, I think it probably Even is. It just bad. it just feels awkward. I don't know something about it. Yeah, it, like no one ever goes IE on Kalista, but but that was because like before you were building items that didn't give any crit at all. Like. Like I think Last Whisper never gave crit, BT never gave crit. Yeah, that's true. You had like, you had like some weird shit like Bork. Uh, I already actually forgot the, this was Bork Runan's of BT three items. Yeah, it's two. Do her two no crits. jumps get weird with crit, or is it the same? Uh, her and oh, yeah, it's fine. Her animation's d <laughs> definitely different. Yeah. But they they oh actually God, used what... Victor ult there. Huh. Yeah, oh. I wonder what their ult CDs are though with trip with quadruple cloud, and it's, Not everyone is like level sixteen. It's still gotta be wow, like they're, forty seconds this is at so least. So TL is getting pressured, but they they actually lose. Like C9 actually loses the fight. Like why is TL giving up their their naked inhib? I, I think Jensen could play these more aggressively. He has Banshee now. Maybe he didn't yeah. feel safe before. Look at but, the rotation. Yeah, they're he going should top be able to now. zone pretty hard. Huh. I think, I think what you do at the end of this, right before your Baron stops, right before your Baron fades, is you just all five Baron recall and try to get the next setup because, because the. Do you sell your boots elder on Victor? In three minutes could win you the game. Go Sorks. I would go Sorks, hundred percent. God, is Callista even a human at this point? She's a two-second knockup. <laughs> Kinda. Still sitting on that Negatron. Kinda weak. The Negatron is really troll to sit on. Can he? Is he, he has Red Pot though, so that's good. Here, I don't think you care about the mid wave. Um, oh, maybe you have to because they they can end on you if you go Elder. Thirty seconds. Yeah, at this point, it's a little weird to full give it up. Good chunky. Ooh. Good little chunky Wait. chunk. Oh, nice! Cool. And they got Scion to ulti. They need Alfari to clear, clear has the mid wave. Not been having good all. This is. They need to clear the mid wave. They can't. They can't. This is so oh, weird. TL is in such a good spot spot now. They can force the end. And then C9 has to run all the way back to their base. Yeah, we'll see how this has played out. This is very difficult. Are they going to trap themselves or are they going to just win? <laughs> oh, okay. They're letting themselves get flanked by Renekton pretty hard. Jensen's in a weird spot. Ooh. Ooh, Jensen wasted his stun. Oh, wait, Jensen. Yeah. That's what C9 needs. Ooh. Vulcan used ulti. Jensen's pretty much out of the fight. Oh, tactical. I saw what's Holy on? gang gang. Okay. Okay, but Victor's, Victor's still dead. Victor's still yeah, Victor's alive. up. Th matter. This is really yeah. good for TL still. Even tactical dead. Oh my god. I don't know if they can do Elder that easily. They're not going to have a lot of consistent damage for it. Like, the only damage is Victor. There is like one Hail Mary, I think, in this case, and it is Perks TPs the second that he's up and they force the fight when Tactical is still oh. like respawning mm -hmm. or like still out of base, not respawning. Yeah, they can get there faster. They have this super, super tight window when Perks is up that he can be there like a couple seconds before Tactical. Ooh. Oh, C9. It's a face check. Oh. Oh, Jensen showed. That was true. I mean, they're just not camping yeah. anymore, is all. Fudge, get the crab. Fudge, get the crab. That's actually so big if they can get the crab, then they don't have to face check anymore. 
Mm -hmm. I think there's another. There is another a Baron up. Let's see. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't think. Oh. I don't think you care about Baron at all. Both teams are just Elders eyes fucking nuts. glued to Elder. And this is this is the window. <laughs> this is this very very tiny window. So all right, perch up. TP bottom and TP back door. And I think you just have to force something right here. Wait, it's actually I don't, is there, on the way. I don't think there's actually a but window. It's not there yet. There's no window. It's a soup. There's no window actually. Yeah. Perks does no damage. damage. <laughs> yeah. Oh wait. Fudge. Fudge, Fudge gets so uh -oh. Oh, no. He's chunk. That He's pretty chunky. Alfari's also getting chunked. Vulcan's getting blasted too. This is so funny. Whoever wins this smite fight is going to oh win. Oh my the game. god. Oh, look, Alfari's TP gonna base and TP back. Can he even do it? I think they're gonna cancel him. Yep. Oh. Nope, they didn't okay. cancel him. <gasps> oh, oh shit! Oh, shit. Oh, Blabber's oh, dead. Blabber's dead. Blabber's dead. Oh my god. No, you guys, you, you literally have to finish Baron. Oh my god. <gasps> oh, oh, Zaya got it. Taxi got it. That's GG. 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 Oh my god. Holy shit. Tackle flash. That was a fucking it. crazy game one. Holy fuck. Yeah. Pretty banger game. <laughs> god damn. And Zen never finished the Negatron. <laughs> Damn, dude, Jensen's fucking got a massive cock on the victor. I didn't quite get to see yeah. his banshees, like how it worked for him. Yeah, no. I don't know either. I just see him ten one ten, <laughs> murdering everyone. That just fight? goes to show how quickly Callista Udir can not become humans after a great early game. True. Yeah, it's actually so fast, like. They had the massive early game lead up to 20 minutes, and then the second they take a fight at 20 minutes, they just lost. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna watch this fight from Jensen's perspective, the Elder fight. Perfect. Yeah, I'll watch this too. Hmm. Ooh, wait. Perks actually walks in? To Jensen's I, I saw ult. him like meleeing people. Yeah, I, I saw Prix was just playing really fucking cocky. Oh my God. But he actually. Seraphine's healing. Yeah, he though. gets healed up. Eight hundred from it. Doing quite a lot. Oh yeah, the Banshees gets broke by the Prowlers or the Q from uh, Fudge. I like I like that Fudge at least bought a shit ton of time by going in. I mean, he he did half health of of Jensen. In the end, I don't even know if Cena wins if they get the Elder. Yeah, dude, Blabber just gets melted. Holy fuck. He's just in the fucking middle of <laughs> yeah. the, the Zaya Victor. Yeah, he gets fucking... He gets, like, accidentally killed. <laughs> like, they weren't even trying. Yeah, yeah, yeah he does. He gets cleaved. <laughs> I think, uh... This is just the problem with playing, like, those tanks, specifically. These, these two jungle tanks are not tanky. Uh-huh. One thing when I played with Gore. Is Sven super sunburned? Or is the camera looking weird? <laughs> I think the camera must be weird. He was looking normal before. Yeah, he looks like he's he fucking. He looks red in the face. Lobster. He's got some freckies. So, actually, one thing that was funny. Mouth Soren fight. Told me, Soren told me that when Sven gets really angry, his face turns bright red. <laughs> so, he's either really mad or the camera's fucked or he's sunburned. <laughs> bright red anger. Uh, hey, it's gotta be like a camera thing. Sivir's pretty fucking good against Malphite Ori. Or maybe That's this true. whole fucking Woo! between games, he was just out in the parking lot beating the shit out of Blabber. He's like, why the fuck did you flash in? <laughs> Kicking him on the ground. He's still pissed about it. Jesus. He's like, next game I'm putting you on the fucking horse, you won't be able to flash in, bitch. You have no flash. That's what you think, man. Blabber's gonna find a way. Another steamy session off cam. <laughs> I mean, this one was kind of on cam. Oh shit, we got a gank from Blabber coming in. Gank, gank, Is gank, it going gank. to amount? Yep, that's a kill. Oh, he gets he it. He was almost gonna fade. Like, it's the angle. Damn. Man, that's the hardest part about Hecarim, knowing exactly like how to time your E and space it. How to press E and yeah. fucking run at them. So yeah, but like that, you need to know you that exactly when to start the good? E, when to like whether to commit ghost or not. Mm-hmm. Because if you let it run out, you're fucked. If you hit them when they flash, 
you're fucked. This is true. Well, Tekram's E called. His devastating charge spacing. The spacing. Yeah. New term. His devastating charge spacing. He just mashes yeah, yeah. both at the same saying. time, right? Right there? Yeah, here he did. It's amazing. Fingered his keyboard. Fingered. I did. I mean, there's got to be like a range, you know, when it comes to Hecarim. Like, okay, within this much range, I can catch them with just my E. Yeah. This much range to be like E Ghost. And then, you know, another different range, whether they have Flash or not. So just being yeah. able to know all those ranges. Like, I'm personally, I've never been a big Hecarim player. Probably not that good at him. Mm. But. Uh, yes, yeah, I, I don't know, dude. This that champ feels so fucking. I think not fun you to can, play, but there's a lot of resources to improve at Hecarim, though. Like the best jungle in the world, Tarzan. I think oh. I have some videos about it. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've, I've, I've been trying to learn yeah. from him. My 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 <laughs> ping buttons are getting worn out a little bit. <laughs> I keep getting chat restricted. I don't know. Yeah, your entry key is a little broke. I think it's so funny. Every time I get Tarzan on my team in solo queue. My chat says, is he chat restricted? Because he is not typing this game. And I'm just like, dude, Tarzan in my games is like actually really tame. Like he doesn't <laughs> say anything basically. Yeah, I, I, I actually, think he... I, I've generally had good experiences with him on my team personally. Uh, really? Like, yeah, oh. when I go off roll. Um, oh, how far he's dead? Like usually goes pretty well. Wow. Oh, freebie for Oh for my heck. god. Alfari's just getting destroyed by Fudge. How is he even? Two back to back solo kills. <laughs> Jesus. Wait a sec. After getting <laughs> counterpicked as well. <laughs> yeah, you got changed. You start the fight on, on Udir, then it's not on the turret, and oh. the NAR can't really participate. Uh oh. Look at Fudge's ult CD. He might be trying to sync his TP with his ult CD. And it's coming up in like oh, yeah. right now. He's TPing right on Sivir. Oh, yeah, he's TPing now. Right on top of could kill oh, Nice fucking oh, Nice. But there's no, no damage. Oh, wait, they don't have damage. No damage. Huh. Literally Where's tickling. Sven? This is weird. Why did Sven not ulti? Jensen's not there, they just get drag. He, he yeah, did ult. Fine, I don't know what he ulted though. What happened to his ult? Also, Perks was nowhere near. I need a replay, even though no one died. Yeah, that <laughs> was guys, of course looking pretty powerful in a fight like that. I don't know. Oh, but you didn't even see Kaisa, did you? Yeah, we, we, we didn't I, see what Kaiser Her ult must have got cancelled by something, I don't know, like Rel or Nar ult, maybe? Yeah, it could have. What a humongous misplay if that's what happened. I mean, that's two kills, a hundred million percent, he kills two people. Yeah, there. that engage looked nasty, and then they just didn't have the damage to finish anyone. Yo, c instead of watching mid farm minions, can they please show the replay? Ah, like, give me the replay! <laughs> just so cringe that they don't... Don't want to have to fast for her. Backtrack. I'm I'm backtracking. Okay, you can let me know what happened. I'm taking the balls to I do just... it. You have the balls. Okay, I'm gonna watch Sven. You Sven have specifically. The balls. Let's... Sven just opts into not ulting. That's what happens. Really? He straight up just what doesn't. He, he, do, he just doesn't use it. That's unbelievable. He has the range. Randomly went on cooldown. Uh, no, he, he, he ends up using it, uh, in, at the same time, Nar ults him. Oh, okay. Yeah, he ults next wow. to Nar, and Nar ults him into the wall. Oh, okay. N Nar did not stop. Well, Kaisa, Kaisa just did not choose to use the ult into the that combo. That was probably a triple kill for Kaisa. So, that could have... That, honestly, that mistake alone, like, Sven not ulting there, could maybe cost C9 the game, because... If there's a fight where people live at, like, 20% HP... Uh, and that was, that's like the difference maker. That's the difference of having like three items or sorry, mm -hmm. three kills on fucking Kaisa. I don't think that was out of range, chat. He, even if it wasn't, he has flash. And even if it wasn't, he could have bought a fucking Gale Force. So, I mean, there's just so many things. Flash Gale Force into our range? <laughs> I would do it. Like, that's literally a double kill. I, like, I think why would you not? Just flash would be in range if he's not. Kaisa range is yeah. pretty fucking good at 11, if you don't know, chat. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. It's, it's six. He's it's definitely out of range. But it'd be fun. The, I, I'd be okay yeah. with that change. Like W cooldown yeah. low. Yeah, I guess this is Perk's dead instantly. I think he's gonna get gold carded Ooh. into a fucking. Yeah, yeah. he's fucked. Oh. Big, big, huge shock big, wave. Is Vulcan dead? Chunks Alfari. <laughs> yes, he's 20%. dead. This, is, this could be Baron for TL, man. I think it is. It's two kills. 
Paiso is so bad at dealing with fights like this where the enemy team is like uh has a formation going. So Blabber has to go for the they steal. Have I would say just ults. I don't know. This could get weird. We'll see. Mm. Yeah, yeah, so they I, play don't, it. I don't think this is super free for TL. I mean the good chance of getting it stolen. Let's see. I think it's oh. extremely free. Oh, that was nice. Tactical shielded the Malphite ult. Zven flushed out! Zven flushed out! Yep. Oh. Oh! oh. Still the Baron. Wonderful. Holy shit, Zven damn. Wait, how'd he die? Out. Was that a Q? Hey, yeah, what do auto. you prefer? Oatmeal, grits, wow. or cream of wheat? Can you ask the Holy shit. Ben is misplaying so nope. bad. Nope. Exonation, though. Maybe Zven just gets cursed when playoffs come around. Wow. I'm gonna see it again. Oh, he he fucked his cleanse. He didn't captain jacket. He jack fucked it. his cleanse. Oh yeah. Dude. Oh, no, dude. He, he flashed out the he second Malphite ult. Yeah. Oh Jesus. Perfect. That that could have killed TF and turned the fight maybe. Oh, Is C9 no. about to get out scaled again? Yeah, I think they are. I think it's doomed now. Malphite is such a bad pick against. Uh, Mid laner that can use Zonia's easily and and Sivir. It's just you, you can't ult anything. Yeah. In fact, Malphite. in that in that earlier fight where Tag School did get Malphite ulted, it, it was such a misplay. Like he has Gale Force and Spell Shield, and he gets Malphite ulted. There's no that way one that was that hard to block. Honestly, just, there's like no reaction time. Like he would have to preemptively yeah. have done it. Yeah. Just have to preemptively do it. That's true. Yeah, you just have to and be here, a good read. Zen has no. Oh. Zen has no uh, cleanse. Oh here, shit! So oh my god! Oh, oh my god! Can he gale force out? Gale nope. force out? Gale force out? I can't tell what's happening here. It's kind of a banger. Perks is. Oh, Perks is. Yeah, Perks is fucked. I think Cena. Anal here. They just gotta run. Yeah. They lost all their damage. Flabber's they, looking good. Their damage dead. is actually like really low. Holy fuck! I wonder if that factored into Sven's decision. Maybe he was like, "Oh, we got low damage. We need Kraken." Mm. That would be such a stupid mentality. Wow. Damn, that it's just, is looking like game. It's just game. Yeah. Right? It was probably game when, when Teal got Baron and was like 4k gold ahead, and now they're they're going to be like 6k after this. Yeah, damn. It doesn't feel like C9's playing horrible. I mean, obviously, like so, some plays are not great, but in general, it doesn't feel like they're playing that bad. They're not just like getting a lot some with Some of perks. their things are not working out, and then it's, they sort of like lose momentum. Yeah, I mean, they, they're getting caught now quite a bit. Like the last two yeah. plays on perks. I mean, th this yeah, one's on Sven, and then and then perks was the other one. Yeah, perks is perks got caught. I think Jensen's finding a lot of good catches. Yeah, yeah, he's he's playing well after the early. The game should have been so different if. Not for that misplay of not ulting. I I really think that you're not going to get a lot of opportunities to engage on TL's comp. But if you do, you have to make the most of it. Mm. Yeah, that's true. God. Hard. I wonder what C9 is going to do next. Sometimes it's that bloodthirst that you really want to kill the enemy that you need. I mean, dude, honestly, C9... Perks specifically, probably in his comfort zone at O2. <laughs> yeah, actually, that's... Like, per that's Perks seems times. like he would much rather be O2 than any other score in a series. <laughs> <laughs> like, he lives for that shit. Mm. Pretty sure he's just edging himself. He is. He wants to make it fun. He needs to get angry. He's playing with on-screen keyboard for first two games. Oh. Almost got the engage. You're saying Perks needs to get upset before he's gonna play well. Yeah, he's like Goku. Like the longer he's fighting, the stronger he gets. Mhm. Mm oh my God. Core is looking pretty yeah, dead. Yeah. Bunk. Got his flash as well. Oh, shit, is this the throw from Liquid? Could be. Maybe. They are pushing up. What can C9 get off of this? Oh wait. This is pretty awkward. Uh, Blabber is. This is pretty awkward. This is pretty awkward. Oh my god. This is pretty play, awkward. Nice Never mind. Perfect. They are trolling their minds, but they're not going to end the game no, this here. This is good. This is actually good. Yes. Holy Whoa. fuck. This is the shit I love about watching C9. I, I swear to God, no other team goes for that yeah. in NA.
That was sick. That's they're such diving, a psychotic they're diving in a turret work. when every other turret is still up. Alfari <laughs> might get caught here. He has no flash. Full on base diving. Alfari might get caught. He has no flash. Get him, boys! W? Yep, he's dead. Dead, dead, oh. dead, dead. I think he's dead here. Oh, that's possible. Oh, give it. To... Perks took it? Perks took it? That fucking scrub? Give it to Hecarim. <laughs> I think looking at looking at the items for C9, they're down 3k gold, but nobody important is actually behind. It doesn't matter if Malphite is down a couple thousand gold, but AD and mid are really strong right now. Four item, four item. Wow, they're shredding Baron here. Yeah, I like it. There's an RTP coming in top. Oh, they have to. It's just dead. Oh my god, they did the not flip. finishing it. Oh, not flip. Tactical's dead. Tactical's dead. Ta it, so is Sven. Sven is dead too. Ooh. Oh, Perks, or Perks is, is he? Full HP. Nope. Oh, wow, Sven oh is alive. Oh my god. That is GG, maybe. No way. That's Actually, no, they, they, they can't end. They can't end. There's going to be so many more fights here. after this. Oh my <laughs> god, guys. How did huh. Sven live that, dude? He was stuck in the middle of everybody. Yeah. I don't know. Did they run out of. I mean, I guess Tactical's dead. But, yeah. Yeah, he died I, I instantly. Again, maybe everyone else just. Their shit was on cooldown. Rakan makes AD carries surprisingly. Rakan is like that like weird enchanter uh, engage hybrid. Like I feel like his shielding and healing must have made an impact there. I'm gonna watch. Just want to see how did Tactical die here? My God, you're so fucking. Okay. okay. <laughs> Unavoidable. Oh yes. Yeah, I'm just definitely... saying that I I spell shielded every Malphite ulti on 70 ping. Man, Tactical needs to step it the fuck up, man. It's not hard. I'm gonna watch it again. Ping actually doesn't matter, it's just something pros complain about. Mm. It's an excuse. He knows, he knows he fucked up big time. Yeah, that one's kind of weird. He He's up. also playing in Malphite's face. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think that's where you want to be standing, like, next to the fucking wall like that. Especially when you don't have vision on Hecker and Malphite. Because it's way fucking harder to spell shield the ult if you don't see him start it, right? Like, I mean, Malphite was literally in his face, though. How are you talking about times, Hecarim? Though, Not over the wall. No, that the was Hecarim. Are so, oh. they, they, both the AD carries are so easy to get like into the fight. Like they they think that they're chasing them and they're not like ready for the counter engage. I think it happened last game when Zvan was playing Callista and they got funneled into the drag. It's like it's so easy to bait both these players into just walking up and dying. It's something that I feel like AD carries were made, probably better at in the past. At least when I was playing against Sneaky, I never felt like Sneaky was really easy to just like bait to run in and die in a fight. Like getting that first auto off doesn't do anything. You mean from tactical? You need to, wor you need to worry about your positioning. Yeah, tactical. Yeah, he, he just can't auto in that position. I was looking at it again. Yeah, so just don't auto. Yeah. And I, that, that's like some one of the more basic things for AD carry is to like focus on your positioning first and then worry about doing oh. damage. And wow, that's a that's a big Holy fucking pick. Shit. Bye bye. That he pick is collected. gonna snowball really hard for them, I think. Damn. I feel like as soon as Liquid let up their map control for like a second, or maybe it was just when C9 decided to start buying pinks and get some control back, they've just been finding so many mm, Is that it, Meteor? This is not an end. This is not an end. Please don't try. Do you think it's not? Because, like, no way. Just compare how both teams were playing before and after. They you mean the pink things? I don't think they really have any, though. Yeah, it just. Huh? Guys, what, what pinks do they what? have? Go back to drag. No, I mean, now they're placed. Like, C9 has four pinks on the map. They're pretty shit ass pinks. Guys, oh. why is yeah, C9 but trying it's, to end? It's still like they have some vision control and TL doesn't have everything lit up. Because when you have this much engage, I think it's really hard for TL to play when they don't see where everyone is. Because then, like, a lot of paths that you can walk down become super unsafe. Oh, I mean, like, I think pinks are obviously way better to have over turd items. I, Ooh, yeah. Damn, that was actually a really nice TP angle. Yeah, Kill was Alfari there. Ashy pick. Yo, just out of curiosity, wait, if, wait Sven has a Zonia, that's weird, but out of curiosity, when you're playing Kaisa and like you go in to try to like 1v1 AD carry, do you E before you alt in for the attack speed? Or no. do you like alt in, hit him, and then no. stealth? You, you should always save. I think you always, R, I think you always, always, always RW. That's, that's the thing that you should probably never not do is start your W animation while you're ulting. There's no reason not to do that. It'd only be if the you, angle w. isn't right, yeah. Yeah, okay. Do you uh, press W first or R first? You, you press R first, you go RW. 
Okay. And then look at this TP by oh. Alfari's mega. Alfari's oh. Yeah. oh. Oh. Holy fuck, that's is it enough though? Damn close to a NAR show, not quite. Oh, the royalty is nothing. Oh, it goes wide. Siver, siver, siver. Ah, uh, just siver things. Oh, blabber, blabber. Actually died right there. Oh, shit, dude. That oh. Ori alt was fucking whiffed hard. Yeah, that royalty was so. That's bad. a full build Oriana alt too. That would have hurt. Yeah. I think yeah. he got one range minion with just... it. Just not using it even would have hurt TL so much. <laughs> True. Like mm -hmm. literally just stopping everyone from walking up. He got the minion, so maybe it was like a tempo ult. I don't know. That's true. They are first out on the map right here. I I struggle to understand why they would think to run to the TP like this. The carries should run away from the TP so that they don't... Oh, Jesus. Sven did no damage at all this fight. Yeah, it's Ooh, that rel... pretty rough. The, the rel engage was actually pretty nice. Yeah, it was well, not, not really engage, but like combo. Yeah, uh, Got blabber and fudge there. Sneaky, do you, do you understand the Zonias over QSS or over Merxim? Because I'm not a fan. I, I Merxim is so much better, even with cleanse. Honestly, like, I don't know the perfect build, but Zonias does feel pretty crazy to have as Kaisa. But I think it has to kind of be combined with AP because he doesn't actually have W evolve with just yeah. Sonya. Hmm. I'm just thinking, Merxim gives you the extra cleanse against Bear Slap and Gold Card on a much shorter cooldown, and gives you 20% more damage with crit. I think. Yeah, yeah. There's no way you're getting that much damage out of having extra AP. No, it's, no. D DPS for sure goes it's to Merc. A really big multiplier. Look at this. They're getting Baron, and oh. they're actually winning the fight on the other side as well. So Core just Core's dies getting... instantly. Murder. Oh my god, finally, Cactful Spell Shield, the first Malphite ulti of the game. Thank Whoa. you. Ah, another Oriole goes wide as <laughs> hell. Oh, GG. Okay, let's go. The Zonias did absolutely nothing. Thank you for yep. using it, though. <laughs> <laughs> Literally useless. Here we go, Ben. Oh, oh. GG, GG, GG. Well That's going to be a C9 dub. Wow. Damn. Dude, so far these games have actually both been really good. Every game that the team that gets ahead in the last like two days, they always lose. <laughs> always, always yeah, lose. Yeah, these Getting teams should just not get ahead. Just, just it's run so it down simple. early game. I mean, it literally happened in the last finals too, where the team that was ahead, like 7k gold, just perfect, makes a huge mistake and loses the game. How oh, can this wow. be? How could this be? Uh, I think that game was on tactical. Too many or maybe TL knew how comfortable perks would be if he was down 0-2 and they could not allow it. It's actually a funny ass story that I'm a cutie pie. Actually, if catfish people in season one to thinking that he was a girl because he thought it was fucking hilarious. <laughs> and it like worked. Yeah, I believe it. Actually, Chouster got catfished and it was like the funniest story ever. Like, but I'm also a cutie really pie? Sad. No, 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 not by Mikita, by, by someone else. So it's like this girl who, um, they'd been talking for, for like probably over a year and they, you know, they started like e-dating, right? How it is in season one. Yeah. And then she, had, uh, when they were about to meet up, she was asking him stuff like, oh, well, you know, would you still love me? Uh, would you still date me if like, I, I didn't look like how I look like, like what if I was really ugly? And then he, at that point, like catfishing wasn't really a big thing. And yeah. he didn't really think anything of it. So he told me, he's like, oh, she's acting super weird. And I was like, oh, wow. I, I didn't think it was a catfish either. I was like, oh, that is really weird. You know, I guess she just wants you to know if like you like her for her personality or not. And so they met up and she obviously looked nothing like she was a lot uglier, <gasps> a lot less attractive. And then he told me like they spent a weekend together and like they tried to have sex, but <laughs> he was like really put off by the fact that uh, <laughs> by the fact that she didn't look like what she looked like. So, you know, it was... Mm. Wow, that's tough, tough performance. <laughs> really, you know fucking... it's a tough performance. And so, I feel like I would have just like I would have just out right Casey. away. Yeah, I I, I would have. I got. I mean, it's not like I would have left by choice, but I would have had a crazy family emergency and just had to go. <laughs> it's like holy fuck, dude! I left the oven on. I'll be right back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I can't imagine Dude, that. That's probably what. Any time a girl in the modern age doesn't own a webcam or have any pictures, hmm, little sus. Little oh, sus. I mean
A hundred percent. No Amogus expert, but that's a little sus. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's a hundred percent sus, and it's like, I I don't think girls should like have to prove that they're girls. But if someone is claiming <laughs> to be a girl, all the time, right? But then like refuses to have any sort of proof, then like there's there's no reason to trust it. <laughs> no, because dude, the thing is like we live in an age where catfishing is super prevalent. So I think it's a reasonable thing. Like if a guy and a girl are like talking, like they're into each other, I do think the girl should like it's courteous to just like provide proof that you are who you say you are. Prove you're a girl, monk a gun. <laughs> I want to see the birth certificate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think I think asking for a valid ID is reasonable too. <laughs> that sounds so awkward. It's like, uh, it's like when you go on it is, dude, you're but like, like I, I you think have you just have to. <laughs> of yeah, the yeah, car. I, I think you just got to be like, all right, you know, uh, this is weird, but I need to see it. <laughs> <laughs> media is the kind of guy where girls out there do not talk to media. So he's gonna be like, "Send nudes right fucking now." <laughs> no. <laughs> no, he just wants your uh, ID. I mean, your social security number, <laughs> your passport, oh your passport, <laughs> bank <Jesus>. statements. <laughs> Dude, I gotta say, there when I sometimes Lena shows me her DMs on Instagram. And the guys are super into financial domination. Have you guys ever heard of this? Fin dom? It's when guys like offer to to like just straight up send you money or buy you stuff. They don't want anything else. Mm. That's just what all they want to do is financial domination. Like buy you things. <laughs> and I'm just thinking like, dude, is this person like they don't even know if Lena's real. Like that could dude, be yeah. a fucking dude. 40 year old dude. <laughs> Sweaty arm. I've blood. definitely heard of I heard of a thing in Korea where, like, dudes sponsor girls like that. Like, you, they just pay for everything. Yeah. And I guess, like, the implication is in return for sex, but... Yeah, dude, I that mean, shit's pretty weird. Maybe that's the fantasy down the line, but I just... Dude, those guys have a lot of fucking money to blow, I guess. Oh, free money. Anyways, that's how I ended up getting financially cucked. Ooh. But it's all good. Didn't you and Travis Gafford have an arrangement like that a while back? <laughs> What? What are you? You know, don't ever say those words ever again. <laughs> what are you saying? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were streaming. Yeah, my, my, no, guys, no, t totally didn't happen. Like that. What? Guys, let me tell you. Sometimes friendship uh, takes a different turn. By the way, are we gonna ever talk about the game or? Oh, we're about to get into it. What well, are you talking about? I, I noticed C9 is on the Victor side this time, and I think we've seen Perks play it like once before, and it didn't look sick. So, ooh, I'm gonna see. I don't know. Their comp's weird. They've got Karma top. They've got Victor. This isn't very C9 esque, but isn't Karma top a huge meme in LEC? Uh, it was played today in the finals a few times. Yeah, I, I just think the reason people pick Karma usually is to try to, like, lane Kingdom top lane or something like that. And I think that's pretty fucking big meme, because it never happens. I don't think it but really wins. But I think wins. if you pick her just to be an enchanter, it's not bad. Yeah, yeah, I don't think it's supposed to hard win or anything. It just chills. I mean, that's the reason a lot of people will play it. They're like, yo, dude, this guy can't do fucking anything against me. I'm going to fuck his mom. I like, mean, I think that was with the old dynamization, no? Like, I think it was stronger in terms of damage. But now it's all I know is it just never works. Yeah. I can't. I was not paying attention to during draft because we were talking about some really degenerate stuff. Oh but like, my god, he missed the fucking oh. mantra Q. That's pathetic. Was was Jinx up, Sneaky? And if Jinx is up, why would they pick really incredibly Walmart budget Jinx? <laughs> why is there an Aphelios in this game? Uh, Hold up. I'll double check. Jinx. I didn't even real. I was watching Aphelios auto. Without realizing, like, what the fuck, there's an Aphelios in this game. Jinx was open. Wow, that's amazing. So I gotta say, Aphelios is a little similar to Caitlyn in in the sense that like certain matchups can be like close to unplayable. The only difference is that Caitlyn is ungankable and J and Aphelios dies to every gank. But that's why I think why Thresh is such a great pairing with him because like it makes the the lane bullying a lot Too safer. Mm -hmm. I personally hate playing this matchup. Um, and it's already going extremely awful. Thresh is also total disgusting aids to play against. When you're playing Kai'Sa, you can't even fucking auto-trade with him. Because you just die. 
Yeah, you'll get flayed. Mm, flayed guy. Oh. oh, wow, Blabber. Oh. Level oh. 4, level 3. Does he win? If he starts like this, I think wow. he can. Wow! Oh. The spacing, the spacing. Okay. Actually, mid, mid move, shit. too. He, like, got two autos in on the fear, and then he backed out and didn't get stunned. I... I really like TL's comp, except for the Aphelios. I think if there's, like, one way that C9 can, can win the game, it's gonna be through repeatedly killing Aphelios. But... I don't like Karma Top, actually. Um, I, I like Karma Top against tanks. I do not like it against carries. I think... Karma... Enables one of your carries like like stylistically she enables one of your carries to play really crazy in fights mm -hmm. But like even a really hyper steroided up carry cannot Cannot hope to like outperform two carries so mm -hmm. Like a GP barrel is just gonna if, if he lands one and Alfari's really fucking good at hitting GP barrels It's gonna be more impactful than any amount of shielding that can happen Yeah, I feel like the comp looks weird with Nocturne specifically because Nocturne is gonna want to go in and he's not yeah. gonna be able to. Look at this, Alfari's actually dead. Ooh. Uh, it was a r nice little, like, back and forth by Fudge to fake recall in the bush. Yeah. Alfari's been dying to every gank uh, well, today. He really has. Like, Scion game, he died to every gank, and, and this one too. He, he needs to step up his, like, awareness. Mm -hmm. Although, I, I did fake the recall, which was good play by him. Oh, wow. Wait. What is Armeo doing? What is Armeo doing? Oh what is my god. <laughs> what? Wow. Is there any world where that would have been a good play? I I, I thought hitting Nocturne initially was good because he was Oom, but... He like overcommitted for a hit on Karma. Yeah, that... The, Holy shit. The second he walked forward, everybody with an eyeball could have fucking known that that was awful. Dude, during that death timer, Alfari fucking texted Santor and said, how's your head feeling, dude? <laughs> you won't believe what just happened. You did did you see this? Yo, look at bot lane already. It's two plates down. It's so fucking hard to play this. Yeah. Oh, what's going on? What is happening? Oh, he's, he's lurking. He's They're going lurking. for the combo. So bad, he has Gale Force Gale Mantured, man. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Oh my god. The That's core didn't so exhaust forced. Him. Core didn't exhaust him. That was super expected. Oh shit. Yep. Oh they got shit. literally nothing except Oh my god. Oh, Insta flash. You, you guys yeah. should speed up, I think. Kind of meet you some behind too. Okay. I'll I'll speed up. Fuck you. Okay. Woo! The you think that was a kill there? Philios R flash with the chakrams? Fudge dead. Could have been. Oh shit, wait. Perks? Oh, what is going on? Perks? Here? Perks, deep. Perks is Perks? victory is actually embarrassing. I've, I feel like I've seen this exact thing before. Oh yeah. my god. Perks victor is actually Damn, so dude. embarrassing. Is one. C9 about to get 3 0'd? <laughs> yeah, XD. Yeah. God, they're not playing well this game. It's just not coming together. I thought I was going to start really good. Yeah, Blabber like and was... Armau helping out Fudge in the early game, but... <laughs> yeah. It's just not the champion that you want to get ahead, like... Yeah, that's true. Arma doesn't do much with gold, and she needs... She needs somebody on her team to, like, be really fed. But, uh, Perex is playing Victor, so... Not a good combination. Zven can't lane. Oh baby, yeah. we are getting the team Ocean fight here. Cheats. Ooh, I don't like C9 hitting it. Wait, I don't like Karma Mantra queuing there. That is really troll. Oh, I, is this even a wombo? I don't think they have damage I, at all. I don't know, dude. Oh no my god. Ka Wait, Kaisa no went in. Like oh my fucking Kaisa. god. No yeah, way. Wow, dude, I, C9's comp <laughs> literally doesn't have damage. Dude, I, I swear to God, Fudge is griefing the fuck out of that. Did you see what he did? Like, when, when you play yeah. Karma, you, you never match your Q in team fights. You always just match your E. It's literally yep. so powerful, but he just griefed the fuck out of it instantly by starting with it. Oh, that flash. Wow, it actually gets him out. Amazing. Jeez. Damn. Hmm. 
But yeah, I don't, I don't know. Like they're just, I mean, like their comp is definitely awkward to begin with, but <laughs> they're definitely playing like shit. Yes. Like he goes in, Nocturne follows up, Victor's nowhere near, <laughs> and then Sven's like, "Fuck it, man, gotta go." <laughs> Sven took too long. Yeah. But to dude, Tactical right? got a lot of fucking health back right there. He ulted with the uh, red. That's what, yeah. that's what helped him. I think it, I, Summoner heal at the same time. I really think that Sven should have went in so much earlier. Like, he came in at the very end when all of his teammates were dead, but imagine if he was just there to finish off Tactical from the beginning. Yeah, I mean, it's mm -hmm. such an awkward engage, too. Because it's like Nocturne Rel, like, giga far away. Yeah. Yeah, it didn't look like they were doing it. Because it was like the perfect engage. It was more like, oh, well, RL's about to fucking die. Let's try. Yeah. Yeah. Let's either do that engage or let him die for free. And, oh, no. They've been sniffed out. Oh, Jensen is dead. Oh. He has oh. flash. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Oh. It doesn't nice. matter. Yo, Perks is actually doing the one-shot victor build. I think I, I really like this against Aphelios. I think Aphelios has absolutely no way of playing the game against... A victor doing this it's like luden sorks plus fucking anything third like yeah that's why that's why gale might know, help him a lot item lich bane i think the fact is though that this game the threat on a is so much lower than normal because karma does no damage to him and nocturne might as well just be an ult like he's not gonna auto him ever against fucking gale forest thresh lantern exhaust it's almost like single threat. Perks got a lot. Did you see? He just bought a full Zonias. Yeah. He fucking flashed to get the kill on Jensen. That was good. This oh, could be a throw. Shit. Tail could throw here. They can't ever stop. Oh, wait. Nocturne doesn't have ult. Wait. It's just dead. Yeah. They just finish it. Could just die. Oh. They just kill it. They just hit the fucking Baron. TP behind. Blabber's not even right going afterwards. for this deal. Oh, shit. Can they fight? Jensen ulted Baron. Ooh. Jensen ulted Baron. Oh my Wait, god. Died. They are getting cleaned up. They're all dead. Yeah. Are they? Yep. Yeah, they are. Well, they, them being TL, yeah. yeah. TL. Yeah, dude, that was weird. I thought Blabber was going to go for his steal. He actually had time to get behind the pit and flash in, but... It, did he? That's so bad mm. for TL. He did. He had time, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, it, so it's because... I mean, he wouldn't have, but TL like, slowed their damage. Yeah. He wanted Blabber to steal it. <laughs> I want to see a couple things. I want to see how Sven died because it looks like he ulted in, got one auto off, and then died. And then I also want to see why did Jensen ult the Baron? Did he try to ult somebody like a champion or? I don't know. Ta tactical started griefing or something. So here is, so there's the ult on Baron. I think Sven's he just did it for the secure. Oh, he just died instantly to Jensen. That QW killed him from 50%. I can't blame him for doing that. I think that was a good play by him to just go in. Then yeah. Yeah. He just dies and laughs. At least he's not tilting. That's good. The nine's fully taking the river here. So TL doesn't actually drag. have to contest this soul. They don't no. need to walk into C9, and I think... They're going for the really high-risk play where they're like, oh, shit. yeah, we're going to fight you for it. But yeah. I think C9 has advantage here. Perks needs to, yes, keep doing that, but probably not on our Mao. He's not taking damage. Fudge is fucking trolling. Oh my. Another Mantra Q. Look at the damage on our Mao. He's almost 95%. Oh okay. my god. And wait for that Mantra to come back up, guys. It's going to be hitting hard on this one. Actually, pretty short cooldown here. No, please, not again. Please, not again. <laughs> oh my god. Bro. Hey, I think uh, Vulcan? Oh, Vulcan? No. Oh my Wait, god. They missed everything and then they're hard engaging onto fucking Udyr. Oh, nice. Oh, Udyr smited the dragon yeah. for health. Yeah, he had to. Oh Prosperity. My. Another Mantra Q missed. Just run. If you're C9 here, you're so happy. Just run. It looked like that should have been way better for TL, but it wasn't. I don't know who the fuck is telling him to Mantra Q every cooldown, but. Fudge is griefing out of his mind. Yeah, I mean, I guess they're trying to zone, like, push him back, but... An ooh, dear. You, you could tell right after that one <laughs> Mantra Q, TL just went in. Yeah. That engage by C9 was so ass. <laughs> yeah. It's like, it was... Rel miss everything on no one. Oh, what the fuck? Nocturne ults a fucking ooh, dear. Oh, my wow, God. 
That's TP as well by uh by Jensen. He's getting the fuck oh. out of there. That was nice by Jensen. Good good trade. I think Fudge's TP is generally pretty useless this game, Perfect. but Ori's could be you know, she can actually side lane. Yeah. So TP good for C9. Don't know if that's ever gonna change anything. Again, Vulcan has to go in or he's just dead instantly. I feel like he actually would have been fine if he just didn't do anything, because he only got a oh, Felius okay. rooted. Rooted. Yeah. It's pretty weird looking. Yeah, tactical flash. I think. I don't know if C9 actually saw that because sometimes in the in the chaos of a team fight you don't know who actually flashed. Mm -hmm. But uh, they have a window now where tactical only has stopwatch. If they can catch him alone, he might just die instantly. You know, to Nocturne Kaisa. Oh. oh. And this is potentially one of those times. Ooh. Damn, he's oh blabber. Flash onto the lantern. Dude, I, I swear, clicking that lantern is not as easy as you guys made it sound. <laughs> but he's getting it every time. Like, that one looked hard yeah. as fuck to get. Yeah. Why did Blabber flash on the lantern? I, he's really trying to make him not get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Possible. Even if they I, killed Aphilios there, like, they wouldn't have actually gotten anything out of it. Yeah. They have one more try without Nocturne's flash. I think... No, it's, it's not going to work because TL is going to be fully grouped for it. Oh, wow. Look at the item difference between 80 carries. Oh, my God. Alfari somehow survived that <laughs> massive chunk from Karma. <laughs> oh, they're smashing Baron. Oh, Jesus. Sven, you can't be there when the Baron's up, dude. You just have to sack that wave. This and, is... And now it's... going to look for steel. I mean, if he can't actually see anyone, he can't go in. Oh my he god, he can't gets see, can't it. See, can't see, can't oh, see. Oh, and he gets it. Give him up. Give him up. Just let him die. And, and actually die fast. <laughs> no, no, no. Save him. Save him. He stole the Baron. Reward him. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking <laughs> selfish team. Oh, oh shit. Wow. Wait. That's a great ulti, actually. Uh, they have flashes. They're probably fine here. Oh, oh the, the rail stun missed. It's okay, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They're fine. They're fine. That's Unless... a fat fucking shield. Wait, they're going in. They're still going. I, oh. I don't think there's oh. an angle here. Whoa. Oh my Whoa. god, that was... Ooh, okay, so Perks has no flash. I don't think it matters too much considering he has Zonia's. But this next team fight, Tactical will have it. That's probably more important. Oh my God, Death Cap on Victor. This guy's a fucking monster. Big I think Aphelios literally dies to one rotation at this point. It's like a QER big and dicker. he's just dead. Mm. Big Dicker or Big Dixie? <laughs> <laughs> big Dictor. Probably Big Dictor. Hit these items. Tactical having GA is really important. He just finished it, and it's important because like his team doesn't rely on just his damage to 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 win. Like if he dies, they still have to kill Ori and GP. And if they don't kill Ori and GP before the GA reses him, the fight gets reset and. Yeah, fuck. How are you gonna kill Tactical? I would almost say just try to kill Ori, even though she has stopwatch. It's better. I don't think you should dive into Tactical. Yeah, I, th I think you just play with yeah. your range. Just better. let Victor shit on Tactical. Hmm. I think C9 needs a miracle to win this game. Um, I don't think it's 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 not doomed. that bad. Yeah. I think either team could win from here. Once Victor's death cap comes off cooldown, then it'll be a free win. <laughs> yeah, they're on a fucking time. I am using it. <laughs> God damn, dude. I don't know what that fucking indicator is. I mean, these engages are weird. I feel like for both sides, it's hard to actually get like a true engage. Mm hmm. But I want to see Victor just walk up with Karma Shield and just start fucking him. Yeah, he, he should be able to. There's no actual answer from the enemy. Besides, like, yep. a barrel being hidden. Oh. oh Pause, champ. Maybe. Do it to him. Not quite. Nah, I would've hit that laser, just saying. Mmm. Meteos Victor. I think why I fill mid on a lot of the time. Tassel with red, white, and GA. Good luck in esports, guys. Wow, that did... Alfari is just too powerful, I think. Fuck, man. How is anyone yeah, These lasers are actually that? not doing anything. <laughs> yeah, I told you. I thought they would do more. Uh, I think Ori is it was, better, actually. It was some thick shields, right? They had to break through. 
Oh. Yeah, I mean, or or you can ball to help counter it. Oh no, that's a, having a front line like this for vision control and nocturne feels so fucking horrible. Yeah, that's quite the junkie. Yeah, but... Ooh, perks getting hit. Dude, I, I just think shit's dead. But it's a smite. Yeah, oh it's... wait, they're just going in. Oh my! Oh right the now. Oriole! The Oriole was sick. Oh my so fucking god! Vulcan. It's over. Oh. Wait, oh, did that fuck. whip spin out of his ult? Yeah. Yeah, it did. Holy shit. Boom! Just auto zass to death. No Q. Holy fuck, that Oriol was insane. Dude, that was so nasty. That was like the perfect timing. Yeah, yeah. It was perfect counter, right? I want to see that again. Uh, Orion is so hard. Jesus. I mean, there's no way they're gonna replay it because the game's over. I'm gonna show that, yeah. but. Here. I'm, I'm... I would. I really just never want to see Karma up against carries. I think if it's Nar, if it's GP, it, as long as the champion is like a human champion. And not like a scion, I, I don't like it. Yeah. It's too shit, guys. That's why there's a pasta Great. about it. This is not how I thought the series would be going. It's just no, not at all. 2-1 match point. Yeah. I'm pulling back the team fight now. I'm checking this shit out. Like, ever since that last I, team I fight, the series has been LCS, so one-sided. If, if EL wins LCS with a sub jungler, I... I don't know what League of Legends is anymore. I just want to see Armeo versus Canyon at MSI. <laughs> yes! What if Armeo is a superstar? Hmm? Hmm? Holy shit, dude. He, he could, could be. be Last half full. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch Karma. Let's see what she does with her mantra once again. Oh, a random fucking mantra queue into the pixel brush. I'm actually so upset at Fudge. Karma. This is fucking disgusting. He's literally you know trolling. If Karma in our Tyler one money match, I already know, man. You're gonna be hounding him nonstop. Dude, I mean, he's only allowed to play Rumble and Maokai. It's like the old days. It's so easy if you play Karma. Literally every role you play Karma, you never matcher queue at this stage of the game. It doesn't do anything unless you have like death cap and shit. But he doesn't. He's full support. He has full utility items and he's matcher queuing off cooldown. It just changes the game so much. To like let your carries reposition and have a shield of confidence. It's just it's so good and he's griefing. I gotta grab my food beer back. Okay. Yeah, I, I watched the fight again. You did you see Sven get ripped? Double? I I did. I saw it in the beginning. Yeah, it's... I saw the the double Oriole too was super sick. So fucking nasty. God. Good call out on Damn. it right before it happened as well. Got it. You're so sexy, sneaky, three man. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it was my Oriole. Thank you very much. Boom. Wow, Victor ended up just... Did you see Victor's damage on fucking Tactile, though, at the end? Let me see. He just, he just walks up to him. Tactile's like... Jesus Christ. I'm watching for it. Right before he dies, he does the... Oh, like, yeah. He does the... Holy crap. shit, he just gets pounded. Pounded. Incredible call out by my boyfriend. Okay, I'll be back. I'm gonna oh. go, to the bathroom, go to the bathroom. Take a shit. <laughs> Take a bit. Okay. Budgie's Mantra Q even after getting hit by Oriole? No fucking way, dude. You serious? <laughs> no way, dude. No fucking way, look at this. He just got giga fucked in the ass. What's he do? Mantra, Q, hits Udir for one damage. I actually cannot comprehend the lack of knowledge of Karma. Doesn't he play with like LS or something? Doesn't LS fucking freak out about this shit? This is so weird. It's actually a mind blower. Like, I swear to God, anyone watching a Karma that's playing this supportive type role, like, it, it, there was there was a previous version of Karma with old itemization. I think he went like, you know, Athene's Unholy Grail or whatever. N not even the Ardent Sensor. Like, people go Earth, uh, Athene's into Death Cap, and like that version, your your Mantra Q would actually gig a chunk. Okay, so I could see it if you were playing it then, but if you're playing it now, like, l look at his items. He has. 
Eberfrost, Zonia's, Fiendish, CDR boot, Kindle Gem. Like, none of this screams damage at all. He's so low AP. The only thing he does is have a bunch of abilities. What abilities you want to use? Fucking Mantra E. The, the, the entire purpose is you speed your entire team up. All of them can reposition. Victor can poke easier. You know, fucking Kaisa can be there. Like, if, if he Mantra E's, just... N not even here, like, I mean, some of you guys in the other streams can't see it, but, like, just at the beginning of it, 34-16 is just pretty much, you just be able to get your team into the right position to actually team fight this and not get chunked at all by the enemy's poke. Whereas, you know, Mecha queuing, he's not hitting anyone, it has no potential, it has no damage even if it hits. I don't know, it's just, it's so obvious to me, it's, it's a mind blower how it's not obvious to him. Um, Sneaky, actually, I have a counter argument, and it's that uh, you're just bitter that you're not in the LCS anyway. Oh, fuck. And uh, oh, shit. the retired players shouldn't talk. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Someone said I it. I guess I think it's that my fault. Should be, instead, she should I'm be using counting. Mantra W because um, hmm. Mantra W is actually a really long CC, and CC is really good. Oh, dude, that's true. I like crowd usually control. You Karma for uh, her Mantra Q damage. It's really important. Mm hmm. That'd be pretty smurf. You know what? You're right. Fuck it. Have you guys? Do you guys like notice that you, you check out guys way more than girls, or is that just me? <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not even kidding. Like I, I yeah, I dude. Like, 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 it, it, like I'm a hundred percent straight, but <laughs> I only can get off the gay porn, <laughs> and I'm only attracted to men. But I'm completely, completely straight. <laughs> okay, whatever. I guess I'm in the minority here, but like. I, I, I like seriously when I go outside I look at guys and I look at like you know what they're wearing and like how fit they are way more than when I, I look at Are girls. you with a girl it, yes. during this? Well no even when I'm not with a girl like it doesn't matter like just mm. I don't know as I got older and no I'm not gay not that there's anything wrong with that I'm, I'm fully straight Oh dude to me dude 100% <laughs> man you don't even need to say it <laughs> <laughs> just, just, Dude, so like, straight. I, like when okay, I've like, even had gay sex multiple times just to prove to myself how much I don't like it. No, but like, like you know, you see like, like a yeah, really it feels great. It's the best moment of my life. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm straight. Like, I admire the good-looking guy way more than I admire like the objectively good-looking. <laughs> yeah, dude, and that's totally, totally fair and straight. <laughs> Okay, whatever. There has to be somebody on my side here. I can't be the only one. No, I, I, I don't think that's weird. I don't think it's weird. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, I don't think it's weird either. I'm not... I don't think I'd do that, but I can respect it. I wonder what... Yeah. more going to be down to Gormar in fights. In team fights. Wait. What was that? Who's more useful, Gragas or Nar in teamfights? Oh, probably Nar. Yeah, Nar for sure. Based on Fudge's build, I assume he's going AP Gragas though. So, yeah, maybe can one shot somebody. It is good against Zaya. Like you're saying, you can get her all without having to actually commit. Yeah, I think you have to be extremely good at Gragas, right? But there is a point where I feel like I'm, I'm constantly looking at Gragas shooting his ulti at me, and I have to decide if I'm going to ult it or if I'm going to tank it and get pushed away and I, I hate that. Mm -hmm. I think I'm scarred from oh. playing against like, oh, but nothing, nothing, nothing. Level 6, level 5. If, if Fudge was 6, I think that might have been a kill though. Mm. Yep. Um, Because like you don't want to ult the, the Gragas ulti that's going to push you away. That's a waste. But you have to ult the one that's going to push you in or you might get ulted in into a CC and just die. Oh my god. So, oh shit, the instant one? repeat. And, and, and Fudge is almost 6, just needs one more creep, oh, one more creep. Oh no. Oh, wait, he knows, he knows. He knows. He's dead anyway. No! Fudge! Oh, oh. wait, wait. Oh, they get him yeah, anyway. he's dead. Wow, wow. that all was that, Yeah. Needed a little bit more commitment. I, I would have actually liked him to flash for it, but they don't have to, which is even better. It's like a little accident, but I mean, even better. What, what you should do on Gragas is if your target doesn't have a way out, like Narha, no jump, no flash. You just Q, Q him first, so he's slowed, and then you ult him. 
Yeah. It's actually way easier to get good ults if you just slow him with Q first. It's amazing that Blabber is able to get that gank off and steal the enemy jungle. Like, it feels so illegal for him to do that. Who would you rather be for the dragon fight? C9 or TL? Uh, I don't know. I feel dead, like, dead even. like TL with a good Nar engage would be way better. Yeah. You're a Nar lover. Actually, if I would rather be Zven because he's two items. Mm. I think that Kai'Sa can easily carry this fight. I really wish it was Gale Force. I, I seriously think like if we if we watch a fight where somebody lives at one HP or, or Kai'Sa could have made a super play, like I'm going to think about that. The dream, like the why they Gale Force. Yeah, because Gragas ulti is going to get everyone to 80%. Hecarim going in on somebody is going to get them to 50. Like if there's if there's any game to do it, it's this game where you have a where you have a completely face roll engage. Uh, oh wow, they're actually just gonna give soul point like this. Oh, I'm. I, I Kaisa's kind of ahead in items, probably why. It's the same yeah, as uh, Victor items. too. Victor's down. Super ahead. I. I kind of giving up three dragons is weird. It's pretty much just guaranteeing you're fighting on the next dragon, like. But they mm -hmm. would have had a fight here, though. But yeah, but I, I like having, I like having the option of like, because if you can test the third one and then it seems like the fight's going like shit, you can just bail, right? Hmm. Now it's like kind, of, you can't afford to give the dragon. I think it's a, I don't know, itemization wise, it looked kind of like a definite loss. Hmm. Yeah. I you were saying that like uh, you think Nar can get a good engage, but like. Man, it's just the raw output of, of C9's comp there was really high. Yeah. Kaisa's two items is like probably one of the best in the whole game for AD carry. <laughs> and Zoe's pretty disgusting champ when you have control. I, I think a lot of this the soul fight, assuming the game goes like this where it's just like really, really slow. I think a lot of the next fight is gonna be on perks to do some smurf shit as Zoe. Like zone the enemy team away by himself, land a really critical Q, maybe mm -hmm. you know, chunk somebody really important to half. That's gonna be so important because Zoe never wants a fight where it happens all at once and everyone's full HP. That's yeah. That's the worst situation for her. He has to sleep tactical. I think he's actually sleeping uh, about fifty six k people right now. Ooh. <laughs> for real, dude. <laughs> Both teams fucking Lily alted. All viewers, Gale can like funnel them in and get a, a good TP with Nar. It might not actually happen, but like... Oh, he's getting good poke on core, half HP, no yeah, sustain. Look at Alfari right now, he's at 95% mega and there's a good TP. Oh, they're, 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 they're oh. angry, they're going. Oh shit, oh. Perks oh, is probably gone? No, not gone. No. Blabber is dead. really bad for C9, really bad for yeah. C9. Yeah, damn. To get out. I don't know, they, they can't really go more. So oh wait, Perks is... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Tactical? Oh. Oh. Uh oh Perks did it. He bubbled him. Tactical fucking grief, too. Oh. This is fucking close, by the way. This is so close. Perks oh. Perks. There's a lot of flashes on the ground. Holy shit. Oh, my God. A lot of flashes on the ground. Oh. Oh, he doesn't want to do it, man. There's like, there's like two more flashes on the ground. Okay, he's just going to use it for fun. This is actually potentially soul. Ar Armeo needs to... Wow, if Tasquil just threw the entire series on that one play, he's gonna feel so fucking bad. I well, they got another game. If they lost. Yeah, I mean, at worst, it's one more game. Damn, yeah, Mount. It's actually over. It's Ogre. Mountain That's Soul is cool. fucking the most OP. Yo, 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 you keep you keep peddling Mountain Soul. <laughs> I still think Ocean and, and Infernal are better, man. You'll, dude, you'll never trick me, dude. You'll never it's trick fine me. to be wrong. <laughs> it's not a big deal. Hmm. And, and this is a situation right here. The, the fight is totally won, and then Taxwell pulled the me versus Victor, where he goes up for more. And you have to just ulti. Yeah. Sleep right here. The fight is over. He totally could have Completely killed over. Perks right here. You, you needed to ult wait. Yeah. First, Dude, right? that, that's like old man reactions. That was a really easy ult. Yeah, though. he real fucking yeah, yeah. griefed it. Yeah, that super seemed super easy. And oh. And Taxwell's totally. Oh. Fine. Scale force Ooh. there. And oh wait, that wasn't flash. Nope, that was just scale. Uh, look at top though. Jensen's caught. No, no, he's not. Oh, does okay. he see him? No, he's okay. maybe. 
No, he's good. No, they barely didn't see him. Wow. Oh, yes. If they did, he was fucking in yeah. trouble. Would have had to flash for sure. Just just need a couple more good plays like that by Fudge. I, I, I love the commitment by Fudge to go in and then bait with Zonius afterwards. Like, I think everyone played that sequence really well. I think Sven played it well with his ult. Frex obviously hit the sleep. Like... That was finally a, a sequence where I felt like TL was on, like doing the right thing in the fight, but it's interesting that it had to happen when two people died instantly. Yep. Look at Sven's items. Yeah, dude, he's dude. fucking cracked. He is absolutely cracked. Pretty thick. Oh, not a good victor. Oh, oh no, Fudge. Is he? Yeah. Maybe fine. No, is yeah. Fine. I, I actually really like. Oh. Oh. oh Holy fuck, Sven. Sven he's rolled. fucked. Sven he's rolled. fucked. Oh, oh, big shutdown attack. Oh my goal. god, that's probably barren. Is that that could very well be the that series? That could be that's the series big. once again, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> no, that just like every other play could be the series. And that's game. That's game. All right, call it, close it. Clock it in right now. <laughs> close no, the it, curtains. That is definitely barren, it's though. Fucking done. Barren. There's no smite on perks. Yo, Mountain Soul not looking that powerful right now. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right, dude. Oh, Mountain Soul really. O Ocean weak right actually now. saves them there. See, think about the healing in his stopwatch from Ocean. <laughs> Huge. Yeah, so could, could have been kind of carry, massive. It's massive AD carry choking over and over and over again. That was a really good Gale flash from uh, Tactical. Right now, guys. I don't know. Oh my god, Tactical Fudge. basically standing still and <laughs> Fudge misses the like, Dude, the thing is, if you're going to do that, use your Q and or Everfrost before the fucking ult. Like, if you're trying to bait his ult, why the hell are you throwing it raw also, and not even hitting him with Zen it? Zen gave Tactical, like, the perfect flashback with all of his feathers. Yeah, that was perfect. pretty fucking brutal. There's a couple things that could happen there. He could have reacted to the E with stopwatch, so it's taking zero damage. Yeah. Went back in time and got in the Gale Forest, or he could have just not went in. <laughs> the fight is over. Went back in time and got the... I like that one. <laughs> Take the time machine. Yeah, that that should be the the next dragon. Maybe four cloud souls lets you go back in time. Ooh. Yeah, elder and so, twenty. I, I think I think C9 can play a couple of ways. Um, they they can play a like front to back where Gragas is just buying time with like ulti on the back line, buying time with Zonia's. Alistar obviously not like a killable target really. Or they can go balls to the wall deep, and either can work. It all just comes down to execution. On TL's side, they only have really one big option, which is wombo combo with like Rel and Nar. I think playing front to back, playing the CC chain is like the only way. They're never gonna dive. Oh. Oh. How is that not a Gragas old angle? Are you kidding me? Why is that not a Gragas old angle? Alvari literally oh, just dashed oh. in. This is bad. This oh. is so bad for tactical. He's fucking dead. Oh yeah, no! Oh. Wait, that's a huge wombo though. Ben is still completely fully alive. Fudge is dead. Holy guys. shit, Fudge! Just ran it down. Holy shit! Tactical gets fucking bubbled in the Ooh. middle of his team. Ooh! I got so excited, dude. I wanted to fucking e through the wall right there. Yeah. Hmm. Don't. Oh wow! They're actually going in for the fight. Jesus. Oh shit! And Core, Core's looking for hex flash. Watch him. Oh shit! Jensen has flash here. Hey. Wait, perks? This is D9, and they're gonna get the kills. Oh, they're gonna kill all three. Yeah, oh kill all. no! Oh shit! That so, is game so again. Tio went for that. Tio went for that because they think their chance of winning against Elder is so low that it's actually more high percentage for them to take a three before fight. Uh-huh. Yeah. And I I don't agree, but like I can follow it at least. That might be the series right there. And that's I'm game again. I'm gonna fuck... All right, you know what? Dude. I'm just only going to do a cast with my boyfriend. That fucking bubble, bro. Oh my god. Yeah. I mean, dude, every Zoe that is good is like a fucking magician on the champ. I swear to god. Wait, like How did that hit? Him? I don't know. It, like dodge everyone else and hit him. Because Zoe's so fucking random, XD. <laughs> what it feels like. Damn, well, they're probably gonna get triple and hip here. 
Uh, I don't know if they're gonna directly yeah, end. Elder is. It's gone. Timing out. They can see it on the mini map. Uh, I would be surprised. To see they can look. see it on their screen oh. too. Oh. Alfari's mega now. Oh, it still stuns Sven. Oh. But he has QS. It does, it uh -oh. He is alive. Oh, See, sorry. He has a pretty good position for this. Core's dead. I think they're gonna get yeah, oh, it's up. GG. Look, Vulcan just solo killed tactical? Oh, yeah, what the fuck? Huh? Wait, he actually got no assist. How did Vulcan just solo kill tactical? There's no, no way. way. What the fuck? We have to go back. I'm gonna go back. I'm... And game. Yeah. Impossible. Impossible. Tactical is that how the matchup goes? Yes, that's how the matchup I goes, XD. I am mind fucked. Okay, I'm checking. He must have been getting his fucking ass beat by his minions or something. Tactical. Oh my god, he was, dude. He was getting slammed by minions. <laughs> Wait, what? Dude, what the fuck? Dude, that cannon minion beat the shit out <laughs> I can't, dude. Those, those minions are doing like fucking 200 DPS, I swear. What? He literally gets that's destroyed. Funny. Dude, dude, I'm. The cannon hits so hard, dude. He's an actual cannon. What do you think Alfari thinks? He's in the back line, like 1v4ing, like barely gets out. He looks his AD carry is fucking solo killed by support. It's a fucking Panzer yeah, tank. Isn't isn't Taxwell just failing every reaction time test the whole game? Like I I I, I just don't want to like harp on him so much because everyone makes misplays, but he's he's been Wait, doing this the whole Did series. you see his ult? He ults nothing. Yeah. It's Flash and Gale Force. He gets comboed by Alistar. It's so easy, man. <laughs> it's so easy to just play Zaya against Ali and ult his ult. <laughs> yeah, but like, wow, that was so funny. Like misplayed like that and then dies to minion. <laughs> Everyone on Twitter is talking about it. What the fuck? Maybe maybe Ali's is just the fucking damage start you need on Vulcan. Dude, that cannon is so powerful. I want to. I want to know what its AD is. With Baron buff. Why does it feel like every series is like which AD carry can control himself from throwing as hard as humanly possible? Maybe it's just hard not to throw, because you're just useless and you're like, fuck, man, I'm depressed, and then they come and kill you. You're like, oh, I <laughs> fucked my ult again. <laughs> I mean, but <laughs> you're just a masochist and you like want to show. Dude, I mean, like, literally both, like, you know that team fight with Sven and, uh, Tactical, like, Tactical fucking troll his ult mid lane, and then the fight after, like, Tactical ults late, and then Sven ults in, and Tactical flashes the feathers on him, like, both of them just griefing. It, it's just bizarre to me, because, like, AD carry is, I mean, it's, it's hotly debated if AD carry is a hard role or not, but I do think that AD carry is the role that's making the most mistakes in these team fights. Yeah, I'm not yeah, saying looks that like it. Like, oh, I think I'm so much better. Like, <laughs> like I seriously, like, just objectively, AD carry is making the most mistakes position-wise in, like, the last two days. Yeah, and I mean, it's partly because they're getting focused. Like, no one's really the target. Like, they're the ones getting focused. Which makes them the target yeah. of mistakes. Yeah. That Zoe bubble, definitely uh, heat-seeking focus. Dude, that was... That was pretty bullshit, not gonna lie. I I would be I'm mind fucked. I'm struggling though because I, I think like you can only get focused as an AD carry when you're playing self peel champs if you want to be frontlining. Like tactical walking up and getting bubbled and then ulting afterwards on mid after the fight was over. And then like Sven ulting in. Yeah. In the next fight. Like he wants to be there. Like he's choosing to be there. So. Yeah. It's all good. I mean, I'm just. Even the. It's hard not to point that out. Yeah, like that first tactical one you just talked about, where like he got hit by the bubble and he could have ulted. Like that one was such in tactical's hands to just kill Zoe there. Like Zoe was dead for sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Everybody who sees that play is just like, yeah, you ult the bubble and you literally auto attack her one time afterwards. Your ult's going to do 200 damage. Your next auto's going to kill. Yeah. So easy. Or you just don't go for the play, right? Because yeah. it doesn't matter if Zoe's at 1 HP or dead, you're going to get the drag anyway. Oh well. Um, maybe maybe I'm just being too hard on AD carry because it's like the role that I play, so I notice the mistakes more. Could be that there's lots of mistakes happening too. I mean, we, we were trying to watch team fights from like both two perspectives. Watching like engages yeah. and shit. Yeah. So, still don't know if it's Trist mid. Oh my god, Cho'Gath? Oh shit! Uh, if they don't go Trist mid though, they have like very little damage. Oh, it's Cho! Magic damage. 
It's Chode. Ooh. It's Chode. I like Chogath. I like Chogath. That... Chogath is so good against Alistar, actually. I, I'm so fucking scared for C9. How are they going to have enough damage with Victor out, Ori banned? How are they going to have enough damage to ever bust through Chogath? Zillion? No. Not Zillion. It's not Zillion. It's not happening. You need to play something Silas. super high yeah, damage. Silas. Uh, no! It's a pretty good chomp. Yo, lost, I think it's not guys? bad. I don't know. I think it's fine. I don't think they have any damage. Like, how are they going to kill anybody? And it just has to get fed, yeah. I think of Silas as a bruiser. So he's like 70% of a damage dealer. Yeah. And then they have a double tank topside. And Tristana? I just don't know if that's enough. Like, I don't know. I it's think they have to snowball with dragons. I mean, like, a behind Silas is definitely just a bruiser. But if he can get ahead, he's a fucking monster. I think on the side of TL is incredible scaling damage on two champs that have great self feel. Like I don't think it's easy to kill Kaisa when she gets any sort of items. When she gets her E evolved, she's so fucking annoying to kill. And then obviously Victor is one of the best oh. fighting champs in the oh, game. Oh no, it's I a great screen. It's a pause. Wait, Scion has Ruby no pots. Uh, <laughs> is that a fucking troll? Why does he have Ruby? Is he do he's doing I... some cheese start, perhaps? Oh, you think he's gonna like die? Yeah, like take take a red and just kill himself and get red. Um, honestly, maybe. It kind of looks like they're doing some oh. cheese like that. Oh, or, or yeah, yeah the, 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 wait, they're swapping. Top at one yeah, minute, they're, so... they're lane swapping. I'll figure out exactly how this works. We practiced this so much at Worlds, even though we fucking lost the game. Um, Scion steals your team's jungle. So Scion is going to go blue, and he's going to do Gromp and blue, and they're going to do a split map. When Armeo goes oh, for the split map, when Armeo goes from his red into C9's blue jungle, he's going to realize there's no camps here, and he's going to get... Oh, blue. shit. Yeah. Also, because... Because Fudge takes two jungle camps, he TP's bot at level two, and so he's not diveable on the stack. Yet. Yeah, yeah, Scion's disgusting in 1v2. Holy fuck. The only Th top laner that can do this in the 1v2, and it, it, the whole point of it is not to help anybody except for jungle. It fucks enemy jungler more than it helps anybody else. He's gonna die to the so, Grom Blue, right? Yo, Alfar getting first blood early on this Holy one. Holy shit. Wait, he has E level one. Wait, Vulcan, W him. Flash W. Yeah, yeah. Alfari literally dying? Every gank. Five consecutive Five games first blood. Bro. That's bro. impressive. I mean, this is a fucking cheese. Ooh. This is so fucking funny, actually. He got him. Did he get both? I, I think he got him. He get, yeah, he can get both. They're, bo they're both dead. And so, like, right now, what our, what our Mayo should He's do, we two. found it out like, with the counter is, our Mayo should fucking just hard beeline it into the enemy jungle topside and not go for wolves. I think going for wolves is too troll. He has really nothing to do. He should just sit there. And he's about to go there now the or realize his jungle's gone. Go there now or game over. Okay, go into Udir's top side? Yes. yes yeah, yes, he's doing it. I mean, there's no jungle left in the game. <laughs> yeah, what else can he do? There's nothing to do. Uh, yeah, I mean, well, the, well, flash. I guess it's smart having his support come with him, but I don't th think you want to be fighting like this with a Victor mid. Like, you don't really have the lane support to make this invade work. Yeah. It could be it could be awkward, but it's it's the only way that you don't get super fucking behind. Wait, they're gonna have you just, just ends up backing off here. Dude, it's just, this oh. is actually a really fucking hype game five. I can't believe this shit is like Yeah. A Did literal it. game five <laughs> final strat. <laughs> just some mega cheese. Yeah. You love to see it. He knew the exact amount of HP he needed to take both. Uh it's really not that hard, guys. It's not even close. Like when I watched Impact do this, it's not even close. Although yeah, it was you, on a new you fuck it up. Right. But like he has so much time to spare when he does the Gromp. It's it's like he has like two extra autos before he like goes mm -hmm. fades away in zombie form. Um, so I guess like one one thing that's like pretty cool about TL's response is that they did send their support to match. So the now 2v2. it's two v two top. So Alfari can actually farm, and like I think C9 would want at some point to switch back to bot lane. Uh, so that tactical is not like, like uh, tactical is not just like owning Scion's turret in the one v one. Maybe he doesn't own his turret. You know, maybe I'm overestimating. Scion's pretty good at Scion's defending, but good. oh, what the fuck? 
Blubber flash in. Uh, He's gonna that flash. Was, that was. Is that a really kill? Good. Ooh, that's a kill. Ooh. Holy fucking shit! Wow. Damn. Perks. Wow. Perks' Salus is fucking insane. What the yeah. fuck? He had to hit everything Every there. Everything. And that was on a ghosted Hecarim. Like, that's definitely not a guaranteed target that he for sure could have missed there. Oh, no. Yeah. Jensen, you can't get ganked like this. He's dead, isn't he? No. No. Walks oh, away. Walks away. No flash even. Amazing. Yeah, hard to but kill here. Armeo? Runs up, gets fucking owned. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's represented in his CS though, right? Yeah, it is already. It's already being counted in his in his total gold count. Look yeah. at this. Fudge has to push Ooh. out instantly. But Fudge, Pricks is here, and he can steal. He can steal an yeah, ulti yeah, before they have ulti. <laughs> <laughs> I, actually, I actually wish he would have stolen Cho'Gath ulti and been super greedy there, because there's no way that Alfari lives. So he could get a stack of it right there. Yeah, he could. Yeah. Uh, really, Damn, really dude. Nice. Alfari is fucking sending it today. Yeah, <laughs> he really is. At least early game. How many plays is that in a row now with Perks? He goes bot, gets a kill. He goes top, gets a kill. He TPs mid and gets Jensen's flash. Like, that's so much done by him. And I don't think that Silas just, like, shits all over Victor in lane. Like, that's, not, that's definitely not how it works. No, he's I think he's... Really well on timing. Yeah. I imagine it's like the gank threat is making Jensen have to play pretty safe and then he's either just pushing or just like leaving on a new wave. Yeah. Jensen can't really follow. Hard to yeah. punish. Bzzzt. Oh wow. Dude, fucking Victor is just farting all over perks on every CS. It feels so bad. <laughs> Actually Victor has mercs see... this game. C9 makes some plays with like Alistair, Silas, either on mid or bottom. Whoa! They're going in! Oh, fucking he's aggressive. fucking dead. I, I, I love it. I love it. Whew. I love it. Dude, he just full healed off core. Yeah, he just full healed. That was a fucking CDR sustain game. <laughs> I, I have to say, like, I'm so disappointed. And I, I, I always thought this about Sven, right? Like, I always knew this about Sven. Fuck, it sounds like I'm just shitting on him, but like, he's not somebody who is able to grow his leads super well compared to other AD carries. He has like other strengths, he's good in other ways. But like he started the game off with first blood and Tactile is just fucking free farming this matchup and this is not easy. Like I, I don't think that when I look at AD carry items I should see them being dead even in items like this mm -hmm. after what happened early. Oh well, what can you do? Yeah it, it's definitely a playstyle. Um Yeah that's a fat ass kill. Ooh. Yeah I mean Zven specifically like plays a lot of matchups just really far back like doesn't necessarily uh always punish you for being in there is he a pussy <laughs> eh, sometimes oh. perhaps i mean he does oh. seem to win a lot there might be something this is to not it. good for Ooh. this is not good num 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 wait what skins using he's just beating his head. oh oh fuck wow that barely missed no combo. what the fuck uh it's kind of ugly right now. Yeah, that was an ugly Hecarim ult. Which one? The real Hecarim or the fake Hecarim? The Silas Hecarim. Mm. Oh, missed the cannon. That's the series. Um, I think both AD carries <laughs> moving up here was kind of... Oh, Core J. Oh, J. Oh, he's oh, he's actually okay. And Perks yeah, dies for that. Uh, oh, oh no. on tactical. Oh, That's not what you want. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's so close. I think Z9 has to give this. They're just outnumbered here. Core? Huh. Does anyone care about this Herald? Why, why would Z9 fight this? Okay. I don't know. If I was Trisana, I would have just fucking pushed the sh ever living shit out of bot lane and taken turret already. Yeah. This is so much Damn. time by both AD carries. Like, Tactical doesn't know that that's going to happen. Yeah. Especially second Herald feels so ridiculously... Weak. Yeah, how, how thick was that, that like, bounty? Do you know? Uh, I didn't catch it. I guess we'll see here. Hopefully. Hopefully they continue the replay. Did Perks have this ult the whole time, right? Was he just choosing which one he wanted? Yeah. Hmm. 
Yeah, he was patient with it. I think he wanted to... Oh, Vulcan fucked his Q. Yeah, it was close. His E also ran out at the worst possible time where he was like one tick away from getting the auto off. Yeah, Vulcan griefed that a little bit. They could have 100% got Jensen's flash. I don't think kill, but definitely flash. Mm -hmm. The most important thing on, on all of this is that Kaisa kind of got a random lead that she shouldn't have got. And, and her tank busting item. Tank busting. No. Kaisa can Gale Force? kill Alistar. No Gale Force? Honestly, this is a game. But you really? Yeah, it's actually a cracking game. <laughs> yeah, dude, they only have Scion, Alistair, Udyr, and you think you need a... Five squishies? <laughs> <laughs> Five squishies. Oh, shit. Vulcan yeah, just dies. What? They're fucking boosted. They're too dead instantly. Can they turn wow, the fight into five? Vulcan slaughter. not just have all? Wait, it's kind of close, though. Yeah. Oh. This man is doing no damage. Oh. pretty caught. Oh. He gets joust? scooped. Oh shit! This is fucking close, by the way. Oh shit, Sven! He has flash. Sven's out one HP. Oh, Sven's out one HP. oh, oh my, my god! Oh my god! Holy fuck! Wait, I could see He's dead. Actually, just outplayed. He's this fucking dead. <laughs> Holy what shit! What the fuck? That was a full-on three v five. I'm pretty sure Sven got a reset off one of the kills on the side, so he got the double jump. Dude. Yeah, he did. He did. <laughs> That was incredible presence of mind for Sven to what? pretty jump for the flash. Like, I, I don't know if he's just doing it out of, like, you know, kind of absent-minded, like, spamming W, but, like, that was really good by Sven. Yeah, yeah. He does I, like, you have to think, like, oh, like, am I going to get flashed on here? Like, maybe I'll just pre-jump for literally no reason other than to predict that he's going to flash. And then Tactical obviously misplayed by doing it too slow. Like, he just did it. He literally just jumped too fucking slow. Or, sorry, flashed the wall too slow. He totally had time to do it. Just flash auto. Dude. Yeah, I think he did. I, you don't see people get fucking clean like that. So straight up two for zero in the beginning. Yeah, they were fucked Granted, here. Granted, they did use a lot on it. Fudge is also completely misses five people too. So Fudge, what did he accomplish this entire fight? I've seen him literally do, okay, one knock up so far. Wow, amazing. This is where it all goes wrong. I think tactical, great ulti by Sven. I want to watch him. Can he flash auto? Hmm. Oh, so Maybe not a mistake. Axel didn't have vision. Yeah. He's so happy. Holy about that shit. Out. Smile. Sven smiling? Holy fuck. Has that ever happened? I don't think so. Oh shit. No, I don't think in a Wait, finals. perks? Wait, perks? <laughs> he has zone, yeah. Oh my god. He's dead. Oh damn, they didn't go to Jensen. Wow, that was fucking optimistic. Oh. <laughs> huh. That was such a crazy way to die. What the hell? <laughs> he just straight ran it. If he hit his E, he would have killed actually, but still like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. They should be absolutely oh. on their hands. Oh no, Vulcan's hesitating. He might not make it to the cone. Oh shit. Oh, oh shit. my God. Sven says, fuck you, bro. Oh my God. Uh, Are they? Wait, Sven's oh. dead. Nice ulti by him. Yeah, that was a really nice ult yeah. by... Trist. Oh my Tactical's god! Tactical's looking pretty domed. Oh. Tactical's getting ping ponged. Yo, Fudge is gonna catch Jensen Ooh. here. Jensen's blocked. Jensen's blocked. Alfar with the flash W. <laughs> no. oh. oh my god. That's so awkward. Oh. And that's the series. <laughs> that is the series right there. Ladies and gentlemen. Yo, I, I don't know. I think TL can still win. So many passed the copium. <laughs> Dude, this is actually such a fucking insane series. This is probably one of the fucking nuttiest finals that has ever happened in LCS. It's not just like... It's n nothing that you'd expect. Yeah, yeah it's, it's actually two good teams. It's pretty close. Perks pretty good his players. life off, but also smurfing his life off. Like, it's like Perks just... It, all that matters is Perks. Yeah, he's, he's actually smurfing for sure. Smurfing, he's giving, he's dying for free, then he's TPing to flank right after he respawns. Like, fucking everything is just crazy. The the fact that Hecarim got his ult blown in the very, very beginning, like, actually swung this fight so hard. Yeah. Because if, if Sven gets fucked right here off a of Hecarim ulti, he's fucking dead. Yeah. That that crazy double fucking buster shot Wait, did, actually did, got two Wait, did Kor not get his E off in his combo? Because he E's at the end. It definitely didn't come up again. I think he might have not had a tether then. If that's the case. He might not have had a, so many tethers. Yeah, maybe. How far he just... Oh my god.
He saw the Flash W. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then he's like, all right, fuck you, count me. <laughs> I'll, I'll just keep Alistar. I think, I think Sven, or not Sven, sorry, Vulcan just wanted to die real quick. Get a quick recall off. Tempo death. So, I mean, like, this next fight for Infernal Soul, I, I can... If I was a TL fan, I'd be definitely really nervous, but, like, they can win. They can. Mm, Mr. Optimistic. I'm being optimistic, and I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that Victor is not the one with the shit ton of gold. Like, Victor still is at one one item. And yeah. It's about to be sold. Like, if I saw Victor at two items, three items, okay. Now we're in business. Oh, my. Oh, oh God. Armeo He's inted. fucking dead. Armeo I, I, yeah, I think he did try to save Alfari. Yeah. He did save Alfari, but... He eat in there, right? Yeah, I mean, Alfari was 100% caught. He was going to die. Yeah. Actually, what happened is uh, Fudge started his ulti, and then Armeo kind of, like, jumped out and straight into Fudge's ulti. So he got knocked up immediately after his ult. Mm. Uh -huh. Gotcha. Fudge Holy is shit, his... dude. It, it's actually Perks' comfort zone, about to lose a fucking festive series. He lives for this shit. Yep. Yeah. How? Canceling, canceling the recalls here is actually a, a game changer. Okay, uh, they, they yeah, it's Baron recall, so they should be out fast enough for Dragon, but it will give TL an opportunity to look for like a pick once. Yeah. I think you have to go for this. Just probably you not can... going to win the fight, but. I think TL should just focus on bursting it and having Cho'Gath ult the, the, the drag. I think that's their only way of winning the game is stalling this Infernal Oh, really? You think go for the look Dragon instead of the fight? They're too slow. They're too slow. It's five seconds. Uh, I, I think they can try. I think. I mean, oh. the, I, no, they definitely don't have time to get Dragon. I think they should have gone for the fight when CNI walked in. Oh, Alfari's going to go for the chomp. Alfari's going for steel. That's their only way. I think they burst oh. it at 1.5. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Dude, that's going to be so much. Yeah. Here we go. Oh. oh Alfari's uh oh. Fucking Alfari's fucking dead. But so is Vulcan. Why did Vulcan kill him? And that's game again. Yeah, that might just be the series. <laughs> you fucking artist. Artist. Art he artist. loves art. Artist of co-streaming. God damn. Hoggers! It's a dub! Jesus. They're gonna go touch the trophy. Behind the kings of spring split. <laughs> Shake the ha uh, fans' hands. Unfortunately, a wise man once said something about spring split not mattering. <laughs> oh, it matters. Don't you worry. That was when MSI would didn't, uh, was canceled, though. Mm. We're gonna actually see some. Bangers. Dude, it's so bright. Oh my god. Uh, why is guys, only two of them get to touch the trophy? Because they ran. Yeah, why, did, why is everyone else so late to touch the they trophy? They sprinted. He didn't see them. <laughs> Social distance. Hold up. This Damn, is not. Jack's hair got real gray. Let's look, let's look a little curly kind of right little... now, too. Yeah. I think. Something that isn't talked about too much is just how much better Fudge is now than before. Like, he was a laughing stock in lock in, and now he's making an Alfari struggle. Like, obviously, it's not just him. It's. Solo killed Alfari literally... every single yeah. Wait, Darshan's up there. <laughs> yeah. Darshan. Darshan's like, hell yeah, guys. I have Let's go. <laughs> That's actually Darshan pretty funny. Darshan's not even happy. <laughs> Who? Darshan. Look at him on the side, dude. I'm done. He's like, that should be me. <laughs> yeah. He's like, man, I wish my journal would gank for me like that. <laughs> Every time Perks moves, somebody just dies. Dude, yeah, those are some nutty rooms. I, I feel like that's what I know Perks for, like his playstyle. Like he somehow yeah. just slips out of mid lane and ends up in every other lane and kills everyone. <laughs> like, I don't know how he does it, but I swear to God, that's like what I've seen him do the best over anyone. Yeah, he's a playmaker. He's he's he did really well in the Silas game and before that the Zoe game.
He made some fucking game winners. All right. I think that's it for me, boys. Yeah, I'm gonna go eat dinner as well. Yeah, I'm pooped. You guys just but fucking was fun. just fucking eat. <laughs> huh? Dude, I'm burning hella calories sitting here commentating about <laughs> fucking. I don't even know what we're talking about anymore. <laughs> but um, all right. So okay, guys, I, this is I guys guess you, you can really leave. I guess we're not gonna be able to coach the MSI. Set. True. But yeah, it's fine. fine. We'll have a good run. I'll, I'll see you for scrims. Oh, yeah, actually, we're going to be streaming. Scrims. True. Alright, see you, dudes. Bye-bye.